Envisage? A massage from enviosity? What does it even mean? Envisage. I'm going to eat my fucking microphone. I'm going to eat it. I'm just going to eat it. Eat it. Fontaine hype, dude. Hell yeah. Let's see it. the first time we came here. Paimon remembers. Nahida's consciousness had been trapped by the doctor, but we followed the clues she left behind. That's good. Her. Audio's perfect. Is it too loud? Is it louder than my voice? Or is it, like, good? Uh, between Sundays. Thank you so, uh, for the two-month resub. I really appreciate that. Good memory, Paimon. So much time has already passed since then. And it seems Sumeru's changing for the better now that Nahida's in charge, right? Mm-hmm. Paimon just hopes this peace will last a long Time. It's good, thank you guys. I appreciate you. Won't have any more new problems to deal with. Yeah, but as long as we're around. Yeah, guess you're right. Hmm. We somehow always find ourselves right in the thick of it. Who knows yeah, what that's true. next? Come to think of it, maybe it's all because of you. Maybe you're just a magnet for trouble. How is it my problem? I'm not the issue. I was just thinking that you might be the problem, Paimon. <gasps> When she was super tired, Paimon got caught in some strange whirlpool and sucked out into sea. And even then, you fished Paimon out. See, we're getting little crumbs as to the time before we met Paimon, dude. I wonder if we're going to get even more Paimon crumbs, dude. Interesting. Uh, anyway, for Nahida's sake, maybe we should think about heading to our next destination for now. Next stop, Fontaine. Ah, look who it is. <gasps> Running you in a place like this? I can see you two still love wandering around. Oh yeah, you oh, want to come to Fontaine with yeah. us, dude? Hmm. Since when are we just wandering around? We're usually taking care of some serious business, even though it may have nothing to do with our journey. <laughs> but never mind that. Mommy, I mean, you? mommy. Yeah, exactly. What brings you here? I just finished a commission in the desert for a usual client of mine. Gosh, she is nothing beautiful, though. I'm gonna lie. Just escorting a shipment of goods. I'm on my way to report back. Okay. That's when I saw you two all the way over there, chatting away. What were you two talking about anyway? We're preparing to leave Sumeru finally and head to Fontaine. Dude, I, I gotta stop for a second. Isn't that crazy, man? I feel like we just got to Sumeru. I know I keep saying that, but I feel like we just got here and now we're leaving and going to Fontaine. Uh, huh? I don't trust that sussy serious? person. Can't say I saw that coming. Mm, but you are travelers after all. Yeah. I guess you'd never stay for too long in one place. I'm a wanderer. Bumping into you like this will become a rarity. Ah, I'm starting to feel sad just thinking about it. I'm, I don't know. I'm not ready to say goodbye. I'm, you're not really saying goodbye, but like, I'm not ready to say goodbye to the Sumeru characters. Hey, how about I gather a few mercs to escort you two? What do you say? I kind of feels now. I kind of feel sad. I don't know. Thanks, but no need. Oh. Mm. I had no clue you'd miss us so much. Dad, don't but leave. Come don't with worry. us. We'll come back to see everyone when we get a chance. <laughs> Sounds good. All you need to do to get to Fontaine is cross this stretch of desert and navigate some waterways. Okay. Knowing you two, I've already I'm been sure there. It won't be anything you can't I already handle. got all the uh the, the places to get. So, uh, when are you leaving? Literally right now. Uh we'll leave as soon as we finish a few more preparations. Oh. Dishes in Sumeru that Paimon hasn't tried yet. Now, where's that list Paimon made? Oh my god. Hmm. This guy's sussy. Who are you? I don't trust you. Or your hat. I see. Guess you won't be needing a going away party or anything. Hmm. It's sad enough to see you go like this. Though, now that I think about it, Sumeru wouldn't be what it is today without you. Yeah, we kind of saved you, you know what I'm saying? Leaving quietly. <laughs> by the way, should we go say bye to Nahida? She'll know from our dreams anyway. Oh, good point. Then there's no need to bother her in the real world. Then I guess this is goodbye for now. Goodbye, Traveling Sumeru. Paimon. Let me get a Whether bunch a of client or a salutes friend, and chat. You're always welcome to come find me. Take care, Dea. You're always the prettiest. Goodbye, Dea. Man, I'm not ready. I thought I was ready. I'm not ready. After settling matters in Sumeru, you approach the border with Fontaine. 
With Fontaine? You mean at Fontaine? Cool! I totally haven't been here already, but we'll do it again! This is not water that you can swim in. Oh my god. No, no. No. Oh, I thought that was considered Fontaine water. <laughs> Take two. Oh my god, guys. Look how beautiful Fontaine is. Oh, wow. It's so cool. Apparently, you can't drown here. But I think, and this is just a hunch, that this water here is still considered normal water. Don't drown. <laughs> And after drowning, we finally made it. Wow. Everything looks so advanced in Fontaine. That's true. I'm on heard that the industry here is extremely developed. And there are all kinds of unusual machines. So we've heard. And it's about what I imagined. Just seeing the sights as a tourist is nice. But maybe it would be better if we found something to do. What okay. do you think? I guess we can just enter this area, uh, city. Let's start by meeting the Hydro Archon. Good idea. Okay. Seeking out the seven is probably still our best source for information at this point. Our journey is to find my sibling. Yeah, the more we can learn, the better. Exactly. So, what do you think the Hydro Archon's like? Will we get along? Nahida said that probably she's a not. very unique personality. Whatever that means. We're probably not going to get along with her at all. Hmm. To learn about a nation's god, start with the nation's people. There seems to be some locals What's up, who? over there. Welcome in. Let's go Yo, is that the Jonathan? Like, THE Jonathan? What's up, buddy? How are you? If you ask me... Have you done the Archon Quest yet? What do you think about Fontaine? Clearly, he was a pretty decent person. Yeah, I didn't expect that kind of ending for him. I thought he would at least fight on a little longer for his family. Now, wait a minute. Where are your French accents? French people don't sound like that. French people sound like XQC, and you don't sound like XQC. I was expecting a sudden plot twist, but it's a pity that it never happened. Hmm. Still, his story is quite the tearjerker. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, excuse me, can I help you too? I couldn't help but notice you standing here listening. <laughs> we just got called out, dude. Hi, <laughs> we're travelers new to Fontaine, and we had something we wanted to ask, but you seem to be really busy talking about some kind of play, so we didn't want to interrupt. Mm -hmm. Uh, play? Oh, no, no, no. We're talking about something that really happened. In fact, it's a case that was just heard a few days ago. Yeah. Really? Like, a real trial? Ace but Attorney. The way you were talking about it and the words you used just now made it sound like some kind of story. Well, good tales are often based on true stories, aren't they? And what you see in reality may also be someone deliberately putting on an act while harboring ulterior motives. That's for that has to be foreshadowing, dude. Maybe whether I shall do that. Whether something is true or not simply isn't that important. Possum the pie, main welcome thing in, how are you? Whether the story being acted out on the stage is splendid enough. Oh, but it looks like you're not from around here. You probably don't know that the Fontaine Court of Justice is called the Opera Epicles. Or more commonly known as just the Opera House. Because all of their trials are considered, like, spectacles and shows. So you see the trials as sort of opera? But, uh, shouldn't court cases be treated a little more seriously than that? Not to question Fontaine's way of doing things. It's just that putting someone on trial is usually a very serious thing. Yeah, back when I was, uh... Married to someone, they got me on alimony and they fucking sued me, and it was just a whole ordeal. Paimon never recovered financially. <laughs> no worries. Other visitors to Fontaine have wondered the same thing. You could say that we just don't want to waste the moving stories behind those cases. That makes no sense. And as for your worries about whether the cases are treated with due reverence, we have the absolutely just and honorable Chief Justice Nouvellet. Nouvellet. As well as the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, a machine created by the Archon. Between the machine Bro, and I the thought Chief the Sumeru Justice, names false were gonna charges be hard. and injustice are a thing of the past now. Dude, I thought the Sumeru names were hard. I'm not gonna be able to say these Fontaine ones. Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal. <laughs> a judgment device created by the Archon. The Oratrice? Is it some kind of machine too? The Oratrice is that thing that, like, uses the people's energy of justice to power the city, right? Wait, 
if I remember correctly. I almost forgot to ask you a question. Um, do you know what we should do if we want to meet the Hydro Archon? Oh, that's easy. Just go to the Opera House. Lady Farina practically lives there. You could okay. definitely say it's her biggest passion. Uh -huh. I think what they mean is that they wish to speak with the Archon I like her personally. little hat. In that case, I'm afraid it's going to be a tad more difficult. You'll have to make an appointment well in advance, and it'll depend on whether or not she has any time slots available. What do you think I am? Just some normal dweeb? No, I'm a traveler. Huh. I fight dragons, dude. super busy taking care of official stuff? Wait, did you say that she's always at the Opera House? No, no. Lady Farina seldom takes an interest with the nation's affairs. Okay. The reason it's difficult to make an appointment is simply because she's incredibly popular. Or she doesn't want to talk to anyone. That's right. After all, she is the Archon. Though she may tend to get a little dramatic from time to time, people can't get enough of her. Hmm. Huh. So she sounds like a little diva. I've heard of an Archon being described that way before. <gasps> Wait! I think it's now. The Hydro Archon is kind of like a big celebrity here, right? Quite the opposite of like how Nahida was treated in Sumeru. Yeah, I suppose you could say that. <laughs> Perhaps you could even say our mascot. Hang on. This is still Fontaine's Archon you're talking about. You should show some more respect. Yeah, I'll put some respect on that, dude. Yes, you're right. I guess I should at least try to be a little more respectful in front of visitors. Otherwise, they don't I like get arrested her. and find myself face to face with Monsieur Nouvellet. They don't like her, I bet, because he said I should be a little more respectful in front of visitors. But behind visitors' backs, I'm going to talk that magic, dude. <laughs> Come on. Sure, there's a lot of laws here. Hmm. But nobody's going to be arrested for saying something disrespectful about the Hydro Archon. Seems, uh, I don't know, I feel like they would. Seems the people of Fontaine really like the Hydro Archon, but they don't appear to revere her. All right, I think we Interesting. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> X to doubt. I yeah, I doubt that. We can find the Hydro Archon at the Opera House. Guess we can try. Who knows how long making an appointment will take? <sighs> Guess we could have a look around the city in the meantime. How long stream gonna be? Probably a few hours. Um, I'm just gonna finish Act One of the Archon Quest today. There's a girl over there. Huh? <gasps> Lynette. Maybe the matter. <gasps> She's going to jump into the water, is she? Bro, it's literally like two feet deep. Uh, maybe we better go check on her. It's two feet deep. I think we're fine, but okay. There we go. We have started act one. Miss! Miss! Don't jump! Don't jump! Oh, shit, shit! Oh, wait, I jumped! And it's also not two feet deep, by the way. Miss! Don't jump! Uh, hello there. Excuse me. Are you alright? Huh? Huh? My name is Rose, and you are? Ah, uh, I'm fine. Thanks. Yes, Pony. I just rewatched Titanic like a couple weeks ago with Audie. This gave me Titanic vibes when Rose is at the edge and like Jack like tries to like get her back on and stuff. And then it looks like he was like messing with her. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Titanic reference? Okay, then. We just noticed Love that it. you seem to be worried about something. About many things, actually. But there's Babes. nothing I can do but just keep my troubles to myself. Dang, I feel bad for her already. I was just reminiscing about a place my brother and I would play when we were kids. It was just atop that hill over there. Uh, you're pointing at the sea. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that you and your brother lived in the water? Maybe they're mermaids. No people call the waters around Fontaine a sea. It's actually just an inland lake that's filled with fresh water. I like her voice actress. And no, I can still see that hill clearly in my memories. Now, it's been completely submerged. Old Fontaine, that's my theory, dude. He would skip and jump, tossing sand in the wind. The sun shone brightly, and the air was filled with the scent of the sea. Oh, the but way now, of the water. The water is gradually swallowing our memories. <sighs> It won't be long before it swallows us. Like new Fontaine's gonna get destroyed, like old Fontaine. Uh, sorry. But Why is she speaking really riddles? Really get what you mean. Ah, oh, I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. Are you Lynette's new friends? Um, yes, friends is what we are. Oh, and you are? 
Thanks for looking after my sister. She often comes here to reminisce about our childhood, that's all. There's no need for any concern. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. He's so theatrical. I'm Linny, and this is my sister Lynette. If I had to guess, I'd say you must be travelers from abroad. Have you seen this magic trick before, though? Impressive, am I right? Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the traveler. We just arrived in Fontaine. We were just talking with your sister. Uh, even though we didn't really get what she was saying. She was speaking in tongues and riddles. I have no idea. Hmm, I see. It's unusual for Lynette to be so willing to talk with anyone. In fact, she seldom speaks at all. Huh. I'm usually the only one she ever talks to. Why would you just tell a random stranger that? You know, my sister talked to you, which is weird because she's very weird and lonely and doesn't talk to anyone. And I'm the only person that they ever talk to, but I guess you need to know that. Oh, really? Then you two are just like us. Paimon's always the one talking for some reason. So, Hoyo knows. Ho Hoyo knows. They're just playing it, and I was like, yeah, for some reason, Paimon's the always one that's talking. There's hardly anything left for me to say with you around, Paimon. The fourth wall has <laughs> been broken, dude. <laughs> I also think my brother can be too talkative at times. I am so Lynette, dude. I am so her. I love her. Oh. <laughs> Seems you were right, Paimon. Introvert, extrovert. We are quite similar. <laughs> so, what did Lynette mean just now when she said that the water Real. is engulfing your memories? And that it won't be long before it engulfs you, too. Oh, that. It's from a prophecy that's been circulating in Fontaine for some time now. Okay. Well, I suppose prophecy isn't exactly the right word, because that implies a certain amount of uncertainty. There's no doubt about what's happening in Fontaine now. What's happening in Fontaine now? Where to begin? Hmm. Let's put that question on hold for a moment. We still what? haven't formally greeted each other yet, have we? Don't clickbait me, dude. I'm thinking the Traveler and his Lynette is a couple for some reason. You think? I don't know. You're shipping them? Uh, Maybe. Did all the introductions earlier not count? <laughs> That's so meta. I was thinking the exact same thing, too. It's like, we Hello, already introduced traveler. ourselves. Hello? Hello, Lenny. And hello, Paimon. I swear to God, I swear to God, if Lenny goes and hi, Paimon, and then pulls a quarter from behind her ear, like, oh, there was a quarter behind your ear. Oh, eats it. And there's a whoop. And then a bird comes out of his hands. <laughs> hey, when did Paimon get a handshake? Oh, you're not poking fun at Paimon, are you? <laughs> Please, don't Evening take Lantern, offense. welcome and how are you? Just consider it a sort of etiquette we have here in Fontaine when making new friends. You should remember it. It might prove useful. Don't shake people's hands. Got it. Or shake selective people's hands. Oh, I understand. All right then. Well, Paimon's just happy to have a local friend now. Was this your card? I never picked the card. But was this your card? Again, I never picked the card. Haha, -ha, magic. <laughs> By the way, we were just getting ready to go to so the opera house to meet the Hydro Archon. Would you be able to show us the way? Huh. So you're going to see Lady Farina? No problem at all. In fact, I was planning to go to the opera house later myself. Let's go together. I'll gladly take you once I finish things here. Okay. Please follow me. Let's do it. Poke to have friends. Lenny was like, welcome, Paimon, to Fontaine. Shakes hand. Oh, the oh, whoopee cushion trick. Why did your hand just fart? Magic. Okay, this is too weird. Um, hold on, I'll switch to Benny. Uh, you said you were going to see Lady Farina? Well, it seems Lady Farina has come to see you. Hey, it's the people from the, um, Persona 5 game. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, I love her. She's going to be my main. I'm going to main her. Oh, the music. I feel like I'm in Ratatouille. So, she's the Hydro Archon? <laughs> How did she know we were looking for 
the head. I love Paimon says like that's the Hydra. My dear people, rich and poor, those with cup in hand and those with nothing at all. Raise your glasses in celebration. If you don't have one, then just raise your hand and leave. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. Do jugs count? As you can all see, two unfamiliar travelers oh, have eyes. arrived in our nation. Come, let us make a toast in honor of this traveler and his companion who have journeyed here from distant lands. It feels like everything is just like a an act, you know, like uh, a play. Is she talking about us? Yeah, no shit, Paimon. She is Amana. Nobody here seems to be holding a glass. <laughs> I like how that's what you notice. I've long heard of the turmoil and chaos you left in your wake as you visited other nations, but I welcome you nevertheless. No, I have come to receive you personally. Dude, she gives me official vibes. Yes, she gives me official vibes. Fear is for insignificant cowards. I am a god, and I will never entertain the notion of such meaningless wariness. You can be rest assured. I see clearly your sincerity. I don't know if I don't think I'm gonna like her, dude. Of course, seeking an audience with me is the most sensible thing to do. It will allow you to truly behold my power and witness my authority. She's she seems very spoiled, yeah. Intelligent people always gather under the <laughs> Correct, Banner. I, Thosalor, hereby welcome you to the nation of Hydro and acknowledge the value and significance of Yeah, the she's stuck up. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. You may rejoice in this. Well, finding the Archon was easy enough. Yeah. Paimon still can't believe it. That was easy. It feels like we've only been here for a few minutes. But the Hydro Archon's entrance was, uh, how should Paimon describe it? A little... Over the top? <laughs> you think? A little <clears throat> bit. Uh, Miss Hydro Icon? How did you know we were coming? Uh, I see. I saw As you. Outlanders, come you me. inevitably lack even some of the most basic understanding. Don't forget that even the gods can be divided into the mediocre and the excellent. I suppose it's only natural for you to be awestruck by my abilities. I don't like her. I think I I don't like yeah. We'll see. Maybe I'll start liking her, but uh I don't know. She's very stuck up. You had best stop and consider. Do you really have the noble qualities and etiquette necessary to communicate with a god? All it takes is a flick of my finger to know everything about you. This is all an act! You didn't know we were coming. That guy told you we were coming because he was he happened to be there. I did theater for nine years, Farina, okay? I know a stagehand when I see one. Oh, talk about sounding high and mighty. Feels like she can't get over herself. <laughs> yeah, for real. Oh, what's with these looks? Perhaps the welcoming ceremony still isn't enough? Hmm. What else should I say then? Um, is she really I don't know. To start talking? Wow, I didn't expect to see Lady Farina here. What a surprise! Wait, does Kiss this ass. mean they're the legendary blonde traveler? How did I not notice before? Hey, what's all the commotion? Oh, is that Lady Farina? Is there some kind of drama going on? What were you doing for the last, um, I don't know. 10 minutes, dude. Of course. That's the blonde traveler. The one all those stories are about. Lady Farina came here to personally see him. Hmm. Oh, I bet this is going to be the drama. The yeah, century. this is a lot of drama. Oh, Up is actually really good. I'm this. loving 4.0 so far. I knew Lady Farina would never disappoint. <laughs> yes, but don't get too excited now. My dear believers and spectators alike tend to get quite rowdy. And despite the noise, I've come to tolerate all their ruckus. Okay. You may consider this I like how she has to have a box to stand on because she's so short. I have 
have determined that there will be an epic duel between myself and this traveler from another land. Uh, just as you were hoping to see. That's not what I want. I don't want to fight you. Uh, now she wants to fight? Are we getting a little ahead of ourselves? <laughs> Bring it on, dude. Fighting gods? I got a resume. I will kick your ass. Not yours, though. This is getting heated, bro. Oh, it's all an act. Hmm? Are you not afraid? That's what she wants. Might I remind you that this is a duel against the divine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. I will kick your butt. What are you trying to do, traveler? <sighs> Provoking a god in front of her people? She provoked me first! I'm just here, just like that button on your shirt is just there. Barely, but it's just there. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Stand down, Clorend. Clorin, is that you say her oh, I love her. Few have the courage to draw their sword against a god. He is obviously a true warrior. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unfortunately, not biting that lip. Only crave to be thrilled, <laughs> and a mere duel will not slake their thirst for excitement. Oh, yeah, she's right. Look, I shrimp over characters, but Clorin, I'm sorry, you have to shrimp over her. <sighs> On Aeneas. Criminals are always requesting duels to defend their honor. I'm not a criminal. Getting though. a bit old to tell the truth. You see, then, as the god of justice, I shall face this traveler in another kind of duel. A duel in court. What did I do? I literally just got here. I didn't commit any crimes, man. All right. This, this is horrible. Right. This is Fontaine, after all. Such a grand opera house. It would be a pity not to use it. I knew it. My theories were correct. They do this shit to rowdy up the um the people of Fontaine so that they can get more energy in return. That's what it is. We didn't do anything, but of course she's gonna. Why do you care so much about the get a rise out of them? Yeah, the, the crowd's reactions. Yep. And we haven't committed any crimes. <laughs> oh, we have reason to put you on trial. It's obvious, isn't it? No. <laughs> According to Fontaine law, no one is permitted to release any flying objects within Fontaine city limits during the first three days of each month. You are clearly guilty. Because Paimon flies. This law, no? <sighs> So that's she just made that up, wrong. dude. There's no and way. That's our lady Farina. No one knows the laws of. Could Fontaine you imagine, like chat, if Paimon went from floating just to like standing? I would freak out if Paimon was just standing there, like, I can stand. My legs work. <laughs> we gotta call our lawyer again, Faye. You call that obvious? What kind of law is that? Wait, flying object? <gasps> That'd be so weird. Yeah. Precisely. Now, she's not an object. She's a no living being. Then, in the name of the Hydro Archon, I order your arrest. My apologies, Lady Farina. I don't mean to spoil the fun, but if you would allow me to interject, this is getting good, though. I don't think that Paimon here meets the definition of a flying object. You tell her, Linny. Finally, someone who's not crazy. How could anyone call Paimon a flying object? Oh, we call you emergency food. Ah, great magician, Linny. You're My also under arrest because I don't like your hat. I'll permit you to object, but how exactly do you plan to prove your claim? <laughs> As a magician who just rained on your parade, I naturally should shoulder the responsibility of saving the show. So, okay. with such an audience gathered here, allow me to perform a trick. Watch us just disappear. What the heck? Oh, is that a, <laughs> is that a leash? <laughs> oh my god. Ta -da. Put that on a leash. This is a community we have here. <laughs> Oh, and Lenny patted you on the back. 
he planned this. He knew this exactly was going to happen, dude. Sleight of hand. Magic. Interesting. That's cool. There. As you can all clearly see, Paimon should be classified as, well, something like a balloon. Oh my this god. This rope has been in the traveler's hand all along. It was just that no one could see it before. Yeah, this is my talking balloon, Paimon. <laughs> You call that magic? You've got to be joking. I love this. Justice for Paimon when, dude. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. Nice one. I like how everyone's like, wow, wow. And then that guy's just like, ha, ha. I thought that was pretty good. Nice one. Ha, huh. ha. I'm not sure what to think. I'm totally French. It seems Lady Farina's charges no longer hold water. What a little shit, dude. I know, right? Emergency balloon. Yeah, I love that. Now what are you going to do, Farina? <laughs> Balloons are now illegal. Okay. Amusing. Let's say so. Very amusing, Minnie. Just the sort of unexpected twist that I enjoy. With you here, I don't today's like her. performance can finally be called complete. Performance? You see all this as a performance? Yeah, she's psychotic, dude. In which case, consider the matter of your trial resolved. Okay. The god of justice will not bring charges against an innocent person. But when there are valid grounds, I will not only judge travelers from abroad, but even the gods of other lands. No way. <laughs> I look forward to seeing your upcoming performance at the Opera House, Mr. Linny and Miss Lynette. That's enough for now. Toodaloo. Clorind, let's go. Bye, Clorind. I'll see you later. I miss her already. Dude, she's psychotic, man. Lenny, really? thank you for bailing us out. You are a true homie, man. Don't mention it. I just happened to remember that there was such a law, so I did a little preparation, just in case. That's I smart. didn't think it would actually come in handy. Well, it did. So, now do you see what kind of god Lady Farina is? She's a B I T H. Dude. She can be a bit confusing at times, but yeah. she is still amenable to reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Confusing is a good way to put it. Yeah, sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I had no idea yeah. you were a magician, Lenny. It sounded like you'll be performing B -I -T -H, at the Opera House, dude. Right? The Bith. <laughs> What's a Bith? A bith? <laughs> I just know a few simple tricks I, I used to make a living. I love how what the fuck is that? Lynette is my assistant. It will actually be my first time performing on the most prestigious stage in Fontaine. Huh. The Opera House. She's such a biff. But isn't the Opera House where criminal trials are held in Fontaine? Everything's a performance, Paimon. When there are no public trials being held, the Opera House hosts a variety of other performances. Mm -hmm. To the people of Fontaine, the line between a trial and a performance can be a little blurred. Okay. And speaking of performances, I would be remiss to forego this opportunity gifted by fate. Might I invite the two of you to see my performance? Yes, you may. My brother's always Birth? excited to make new friends. I love Linny and Lynette, dude. Oh, sure. They we seem really like very kind people. And we wanted to go yes. to the opera house anyway. I would be delighted to. Splendid. In that case, why don't we go together? I'll show you the way. I just have something to take care of first. Is there any way I can help? Oh, you really mean it? Then I'll take you up Why on Why is she offer. looking straight at us, dude? It looks like Lunette is staring right into our soul. It's just like... Are you enjoying this quest so far? This Please is a magical item known as a magic pocket. Perhaps you can help me distribute Queen. them to the people here. That's a nice little tote bag. Where'd you get it from? Huh? What are they going to use it for? About that, hmm. You asked me before about the prophecy, right? 
Let me ja. start by telling you a little more about what it entails. Okay. I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been circulating around Fontaine. It says that every person in Fontaine is born with sin. All right. No matter how the nation of justice holds trial after trial, this sin cannot be absolved. Do you trust Lenny? I'm going to be honest with you. I don't trust anyone because this is like the land of like performance and like, I don't know, getting a rise out of your crowd. I don't trust anyone, especially magicians. Back in 2004, let me tell you, this magician tricked me. And I, I never lived it down. Until so one love, day, uh, the water levels in Fontaine will rise and the sinful people will slowly be drowned. So is everyone of... That means the whole city would drown then, right? In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters. Okay. And only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Only then will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away. But she seems like a B-I-T-H, so like, that means she has sin, so why wouldn't she be washed away? That sounds pretty gloomy. Why are people in Fontaine born with sin? Yeah. What is that supposed to mean? There are lots of guesses. Some say that the ancestors of Fontaine stole the power of the seas and stirred its wrath. Huh. Others say that the people of Fontaine never heeded the first Hydro Archon's warnings and offended Celestia. Ooh, it may be. But here in Fontaine, evidence is what matters. There mm -hmm. hasn't been concrete evidence for any of these claims, so they can only be regarded as conjecture. If even the people in Fontaine don't know what sin they committed... Yeah, that kind of sucks. Be better just to ignore the prophecy completely? Why bother feeling guilty all the time? That is a good point, Paimon. That's exactly what the people did at first. Oh. But in the last few years, the water levels in Fontaine have actually started rising. But now the water is engulfing our memories. Hmm. Many places have already been completely submerged and now lie beneath the sea. Why don't you just move move to a different city many people carry on with their lives as before and shrug it off as a natural phenomenon but my family and i think that the people of fontaine shouldn't ignore the possibility which would end up sentencing them to death we hope that at least the people who reside near the waterfront can move away before it's too late so we've started distributing magic pockets to them Magic pockets? As a magical oh, item, these magic pockets have astonishing capacity. Oh, it's the bag that you I'm gave sure me. I'm sure they will come in handy when it's like Harry Potter. their belongings. Oh, Hyman gets it. It's like preparing for a rainy day. But this is more than a bit of rain. So if the prophecy is true, then there's no way to prevent the disaster? Hmm. Perhaps only absolute power could ever contend with such a catastrophe. Hmm. <laughs> But who knows? We're just tiny specks in the grand scheme of things. Now, if you'd like to help, then please give these magic pockets to anyone nearby. Be sure to convince them to take it, regardless of what they say. Okay. Interesting. All right, let's go give out these uh these magic pockets to people. Hello, Aguru. What's this? Ah, so you also believe in the prophecy? Keep it. I won't have any use. This man is going to be the first to drown. What? You mean you don't believe in the prophecy? No, no, I believe in the prophecy. Okay. But I also believe in another story. Okay. The story says that people once lived in the ocean. They were one with the ocean and couldn't live apart from it. But as time wore on, people desired to live on land and developed blood vessels encapsulating the sea within their bodies. Thus could people set foot on land. So, if you ask me, when the water rises and takes us all, it'll be this like guy's a psycho. Home. It'll just take me home. Like, okay. Oh, we hadn't heard that one before. I haven't heard that one either, dude. But all right, this guy's weird. live underwater, they'll die. You should probably still take it. Here you go. Take my magic uh, all right, um, I'll take it. pocket. I guess I just feel that being dissolved into the water doesn't necessarily mean death. 
This guy needs to seek therapy, honestly. All right. All right, have fun being dissolved. Um, hello there, a teen. So you're the blonde traveler that mm -hmm. everyone's been talking about. That's me. My apologies for not recognizing you earlier. Mm, that's okay. Here, a magic pocket. Oh, a magic pocket? Seems you really thought of everything. I guess it's better to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Thanks. Oh, please, also thank the magician on my behalf when you get the chance. Don't worry, I will tell him abracadabra on your behalf. That's how magicians say thank you to each other. The guy back in 2004 told me that. Adventure time! Hello there, ma'am. Would you like a magic pocket? Huh? I don't want that thing. The way I see it... You too good for my magic true, pocket? It's still gonna be a long time before the water can cover everything. Okay, well maybe you should just prepare. Life is all about living in the moment. What use is there in worrying about the future all the time? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. That's how I spend my money, chat. I'm like, oh, I don't need to invest in my future. You should still take it. Yeah. You never know when it'll come in handy. No, Alkazam is a slur and magician link. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Alakazam is a slur and magician lingo, dude. You never want to say that, dude. Oh, Panda Shark, you're the prime sub. I appreciate you. Thanks. It's just I could totally see that. If I start moving, that means I've already given up on the life I have now. I'd really rather not. Okay. Everyone here is weird. All right, let's go talk to Lenny. Oh, you already handed out all of the magic pockets? Well, not everyone wanted them. That was fast. So, what did people have to say? I bet you heard some uh, interesting opinions. Yeah, they're kind of stubborn. Yes, but that will change once disaster strikes. <laughs> I know they'll change their minds, so it's only right to help them prepare. I like that attitude. It's like, yeah, they might be stubborn, but like, yeah, that'll change when disaster strikes. It draws me. Is there anything else you need to do before we leave? Yes, one last thing. I have the magic pockets made by a workshop in the Court of Fontaine. Since we're out and about, I was thinking about bringing him some more materials. Okay. You want to collect materials? Stick what if Linny can keep track of the magic work? pockets? I could probably see Many that, honestly. Make light work. Oh, that would be much appreciated. We'll need some Romaritime flowers. I remember seeing them near the waterfront on the east side of the harbor. Okay. You made of course I'm work of that. I can tell you're an experienced traveler. I've also finished collecting a few here. Maybe next time you'll feel like helping too, Lynette. Wow, what a very backhanded com uh, comment. And maybe next time you want to help me, Lynette. No way. <laughs> I'm in power saving mode today. Otherwise, Girl I fear I may not have any energy left for the performance at the opera house. I like that. I was like, eh, I'm in power saving mode. <sighs> Fine. Though the performance is still a long way off. Now that we're finished here, we should get ready to head back to the Court of Fontaine. Okay, so, let's go do it. We're going to the Court of Fontaine before we head to the opera house? Good. Paimon wants a tour of Fontaine's largest city and try... What's happening? Wait, shh. Have you noticed that person over there? The young girl. She looks like she's a spy. Huh? What's wrong with her? Paimon didn't notice anything. <laughs> she's obviously a thief. Magicians she? and thieves practice similar methods. We divert attention, and a distracted audience is one that won't discover what you're really doing. Watch her movements carefully. Okay. Pickpocket! Pickpocket! Oh, he's right! Shh, keep your voice down. We need to think of a way to catch her, mm -mm. but it seems she's very alert. Perhaps we should split up. You two can ride the lift over there and wait up top. Okay. I bet that'll be her escape. Attention, eh? Pickpocket. Attention, eh? Pickpocket. All right, let's go. This is the spot where Lenny wanted us to wait. Okay. <gasps> there she is. Attention, eh? Pickpocket. Oh, look. Isn't that her? Yeah, let's just stand and point. Get ready to stop her. I mean, you are a floating elf. I mean, it'd be hard for her to not see you. Uh, you're right. She might also be 
trying to lure us away. I think so. See, you're smart, Paimon. You wait, but there's no sign of the thief. Nothing's happened for a while now. Paimon wonders if Lenny caught hmm. the thief. Let's go find Lenny. Yeah, let's go. Are you sure that's all she took? You should check to make sure you're not missing anything else. Like this coin behind your ear. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. N no, that was all. Oh, I love the Hydro okay, Archon's design, but I enough. hate her personality. I Same. I didn't notice a thing earlier. Anyway, I should be going now. Thanks again. Going to get a different haircut? Because, bro, did you ask for that or did oh, they give you that? Were you returning with the thief had stolen? That's right. Pity I wasn't able to catch her. She distracted me by dropping the thing she stole on the ground. By the time I looked back, she that was doesn't get old. gone. Doro, like the coin behind your ear. I, that's one of my favorite jokes is like this coin behind your ear. I saw the general direction she went, but Lenny twisted his ankle and I needed to make sure he was okay. Oh, did you get hurt, Lenny? I'll be all right. It's How did you twist your ankle, ankle in your combat boots fact, that you have it's on? feeling better already. If you want to play at being a hero, at least try not to get hurt doing it. Imagine what would happen if you managed to derail our performance as a result. Are you going to pull on this update? Yep, I did last night. I got uh, I got Lenny and his bow. <laughs> and you're Lynette right, at C6. You're right. Sorry, Lynette. <sighs> I have to admit that the thief was even more skilled what than I had anticipated. But at least we were able to get the stolen items back, so it wasn't a complete failure. What a slippery little thief. Guess things turned out all right in the end, though. Lenny's initiative hmm. paid off. I love her personality. She's just a theater kid. She's a mean theater kid then. All I don't know. Right. I was a theater kid and no one was that well. There was a couple of them. We should there. go to the Court of Fontaine now. I don't know if I want to. I'm kind of scared to do so, but Ride the Aquabus to the Court of Fontaine. Alright, let's go do it. New personality for the new Archon. I mean, it's a good change of pace because it's very different so from the Archons we have met, you know? The I think they had to do that. What an ingenious way to get around. People in Fontaine really know how to use water. This is an aqua bus. It allows people to travel between several key locations around Fontaine. It's pretty convenient. Smash Zhongli, But the ride obviously. can become a little dull after a while. The scenery is always the same. That's why it's better to travel with friends. So you mean it's still boring even when I'm riding with you? <laughs> that, no, that's not what I meant. It's just that, uh, well, you don't really talk that much. Besides, it doesn't really feel like a real trip when it's just the two of us. More it's like the Aqua same Bus. Fontaine's out. <laughs> yep, Fontaine out, uh, came out yesterday. Hmm. Whatever. I love Lynette. I think I like Lynette more than Lenny, to be honest with you. Guess that's what it's like to be an older brother. All right, this is awkward. <laughs> it's about time for us to leave. Let's get on board. Okay. One question, please. Raiden or Jean Lee? I'd probably pick Raiden. <gasps> it's um Rebecca. What's her name? Charlotte. That's her name, Charlotte, not Rebecca. But Charlotte. Huh? Rebecca? What? Oh my god, so crazy seeing you again. Charlotte. Oh my god, how are you? It's Charlotte, not Rebecca. I never guessed I'd bump into you while riding the Aquabus. And the story of my life, this is big news. What are you Crazy. doing in Fontaine? I didn't hear anything about you paying us a visit. Yeah, it's quite the coincidence. But as travelers, we're always on the move. It's not surprising that nobody knew we were coming. I mean, yeah, we were gonna be here. Uh, anyway, is that so Celestia right there, I have chat? no idea how the Hydro Archon knew about us. Is that Celestia? Oh, let Paimon introduce you to our new friend. Oh, no need for introductions, Paimon. I would recognize the great magician no, Lenny Becky, and his assistant gotcha. Lynette anywhere. It's gotta be Celestia. True. That's Leeway. Is it? Charlotte who? We only know Stan Stan. We only know Rebecca, dude. I wouldn't be much of a reporter if I didn't know who they were. <laughs> I don't know where I got the name Rebecca, I'm chat. Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird. Nice to meet you. From the Steambird, huh? We've often relied on your paper to promote our performances. It's an honor to meet you. They're so polite. <sighs> now that everyone knows each other, Fontaine suddenly doesn't feel like such an unfamiliar place. Oh, hold your horses. We're not even in the city yet. So, what have you been up to lately, Charlotte? Any big news? 
Not too much. When there isn't any breaking news, I mainly cover the trials at the Opera House. Mm. You can still manage to keep readers' attention as long as you tell things from a clever enough angle, even if it's the same old topics. Mm. For example, reporting on how a scammer once deceived vulnerable girls into relationships, or how a financial criminal was once so poor that they ate a single piece of bread for five days. Wait, what was that first one again? What'd you say? That would definitely get my attention. Ah, oh, you're right. Seems you know me pretty well. What I'm really after is exclusive, sensational news pieces that could shake the country. These smaller stories are a waste of my talents. Oh, I'm seeing. Oh, I just remember. I'm still doing the Sumeru quest. Dude, take your time, man. Sumeru well, quest is really a good. series of cases, actually. You mean the serial disappearances of young women case? What is going on with young women in Fountain? That's right. These stories are the talk of the town right now, and it's probably the most mysterious case we've ever seen. If I'm the first with a draft ready okay. to publish when the case is finally cracked, and it's the headline story in the Steam. Dude, Earth. Charlotte is a drama streamer. Big oh, drama. When that happens, I bet all the other reporters will shed tears of envy. I've already gathered all kinds envy, of Envy? Enviosity? Is envy in this wait game? For the truth to be revealed. So, what is Drama with envy? Serial disappearances of young women case. You mean the culprit hasn't been found? <laughs> Tang Fei from Fontaine for real. That's right. The first missing girl case happened almost 20 years ago. Huh? And ever since, after a period of time, another girl disappears. What the cases have in common is that the girls are all of a similar age and that they've all vanished without a trace. What they have in common is that they're both girls. What? But the scariest part is that to this day, none of the girls have is ever Is there a been serial found. killer on the loose? Many suspects have been arrested over the years in connection with this case, but shortly after each arrest, another disappearance would always happen. Okay. Then there must be more than one criminal at work. Maybe there's a copycat criminal. Maybe. Yes, it's possible. But maybe. Either way, it's I creepy, dude. Every case yeah, it gives me Jack the Reaper vibes too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Waiting to be exposed. Yes, I agree. And at the very least, the family of those missing girls deserves some sort of explanation. I keep forgetting this is a free-to-play game. Imagined for a second. Hello, is it my auto play on? Disappear. I'd pay any price to get her back, and then find a way to track down the culprit. Please don't imagine that we are. Hey, we're almost there. Look. Oh, it's so pretty. And I love all of like the aquabus tracks that go to it. Oh, and the mu oh, the music is so good. They really outdid themselves with uh, Fontaine, for real. I can't wait to try diving. You haven't tried it yet? <gasps> You're gonna love the diving. The diving is amazing. Audie, you're playing on uh, iPad. Have you tried diving yet on iPad? Is it instant as well? That's crazy. Oh, also, by the way, Audie's here. I don't know if I told you that. Well, She's really playing on my iPad right now. You. Life should be full of pleasant little surprises like this. Yeah, Whoa. I did well. The ride went by too quickly. Ah, I have an interview to get to. Yeah, when I, I dove for the first time yesterday, it blew me away. I was like, dude, when you just jump in the water, everything just like loads instantly. It's crazy. Okay. I wonder how they did that on a technical oh, be sure level. To stop by and see me at the Steambird when you have time. Okay. What and yeah, the diving is surprisingly Are easy to control. I agree. And interviewing everyone? <sighs> well, where should we go now? The courthouse. If you don't mind, how about we stop by my home first? Besides, I still have all the materials we collect. I don't chat, I don't know why when he said Let's stop by my house first. I imagine him putting down a magic pocket and be like, all right, get in. I was like, that's your house? Yeah, I live in my magic pocket. Sure. Where, we where else would I live? This city is so huge. Paimon wouldn't know where to start anyway. All right, let's go. All right, get in my pocket. That's where. <laughs> it's like um uh, the Fantastic Beast movie, how they have those little like suitcases that do that.
Love it. Oh, Fontaine is so pretty. This is our current abode. Ah, Welcome to my casa. Where did everyone what was, what else they call go? It in Barbie? I have some new friends that I would like to introduce. Yeah, Mojo Dojo Casa something. I forgot what they uh, called it in the Barbie movie. Is that Fremene? Oh, they all just went out a moment ago. Oh, I love Fremene. I see. Everyone is getting busier now that Father will be returning soon. I suppose that can't be helped. He's so soft-spoken. Allow me to introduce you to my little brother, Fremene. He is a phenomenal diver. Uh, hello. Hello. Nice to meet you! Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler! Oh, you sound very proud to have a diver as a brother, Linny. What a talented family you have. <laughs> yeah, Mojo Dojo Casa House is what it was called, yeah, yeah. Uh, Linny, could you come here for a moment? Hmm? What is it, Fremene? Do you have something to tell me? Oh my god, it's all right. Go ahead, dude. What is it that you want to talk about? Just put it out in the open. I love his little hat and his little penguin on his back. Hmm. Okay, I see. Is everything all right? Oh, <laughs> it's nothing. We were just discussing a little housework. Sorry for the interruption. Okay. He's oh, a yeah. He is adorable. I forget, the Traveler and I collected more materials to make magic pockets. Were you able to get any, Fremene? Yes. I went diving and gathered lots of materials. I was about to give them to you. That's our Fremene. Always quick with the underwater work. All right, I'll take these to the workshop. We have to protect Fremene with everything we have. It's raining. And that's a bad sign in Fontaine. Not that guy. Oh, I don't have an umbrella. Rain. Hmm. Looks like rain. Oh, you're right. But wasn't it clear and sunny just a moment ago? Hmm. Fontaine's weather sure is weird. It's like Colorado. Things just change in an instant. <laughs> I'm afraid that's just how it is here. It often rains on days where there are trials being held in the Opera House, but don't worry, it'll clear up soon enough. <sighs> Interesting. Hmm. Huh? What's wrong, Fremen? Oh yeah, imagine put turning on French for Fra Fontaine. There's a legend about the rain that I tend to believe. What is it? It's said that a dragon of water once resided in Fontaine. Uh huh. Though we don't know where the dragon went. Every time it weeps, the skies will cloud up and pour out rain. <laughs> and every time it thunders, it's just him bowling with his friends. When I was a child, my mother told me that if I wanted to go outside and play, I should yell toward the sky at the top of my lungs. That's weird, but okay. Hydro Dragon! Hydro Dragon! Don't cry! Could that Hydro Dragon be the elemental dragon of Fontaine? If it's then having the power to make it rain wouldn't be very unusual. Don't say the thunders are his farts, bro. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Naiso, the thunders are his farts. I love that. <laughs> I'm crying and shitting at the same time. Hmm. Let Paimon try something. Hydro Dragon, Hydro Dragon, don't cry. Oh my god, I'm getting secondhand embarrassment, Paimon. Doesn't seem to be of any use. It is just a legend after all. You know, you might be a more popular. We don't all cry at the same time. I mean, I usually do my crying when I am on the toilet, so yeah. At least play along. <laughs> Sorry. It might be because we've never met the Hydro Dragon. Perhaps it can't be comforted by the words of strangers. Mm. After some time, the rain stops. Hmm. It rained for longer than I suspected. Did we just stand in the rain? Was there something you needed to do, Linny? Yeah, some preparations for the show at the Opera House. I need to find. I can't a get over Linny's garbage. I, I was. I didn't say anything about it, but yeah, I agree. On the day of the performance, just ride the Aquabus to the island of Aeneas. I'll have Lynette meet you at the fountain in front of the Opera House. Sounds good. Go ahead, Linny. 
Oh, uh, are you leaving now? What is it, Fremenet? I'm in a hurry. Oh, I get it. You feel nervous delivering the materials for the magic pockets, is that it? Perhaps we could trouble the traveler to help us take these I can do materials it. to the Me, don't have a great rest of your day, okay? Take care. To the owner there? I'm afraid that Fremenet can be quite introverted. And the boss there just like me, dude. Talkative. Fremine has always been a little afraid of her. I got you. As an introvert, I will help you. No trouble at all. Don't worry. We're on the case. Sorry for the inconvenience. I'm quite useless when it comes to such tasks. You're not useless, Fremine. Whoever told you that to is wrong. To you. Oh, no need, no need. This will be a walk in the park for us. We must protect Fremine with all with all of our hearts and soul. All right. You're doing great, okay? Don't worry. Please just keep Klee away from the Fernand dive for real. Hello? Is there anyone here? Klee, stay away. Oh, hello there. New customers? Looking to buy, or do you need something made? Or perhaps you're just looking what for a What are job. you buying? Wait, is that a lady blacksmith? Oh, oh no, hell yeah, that's badass, dude. Some materials. Here they are. They're for making... Uh... What were they called again? Ah, these must be for magic pockets. I could tell right away. I've already made some. Pink Icy, welcome to Hawaii you today. Do we need to pay? No, no need. They've already prepaid several batches worth. When they told me what they'd be using them for, I even offered them a discount, but they insisted on paying the full amount, mm, okay. saying that I had a business to run. She's making hot pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Seems both their hearts Every time and their pockets Lenny are made says of gold. magic pockets, I think of hot pockets. Mm, I can't say for sure, but I mean, Lenny is a magician, like Pen and Teller. Money to be made being a magician in Fontaine. Hey, is this machine what you used to make stuff here? It looks really advanced. Magic hot pockets? Yeah, for, they don't burn your mouth when you eat them, Turtle. That's how magic they are. Hey, Dora, did you get the free Fontaine artifact from Fontaine? The first day I went to Fontaine and interacted with the NPC. I got something called Plume of Death. No, I didn't. Why use That's your cool, hands though. when a machine can do the work? It would be a waste not to use the latest technology. And wasting is a kind of crime. You'll get arrested for that. But where does a big machine like that get its power from? The people. Ah, uh, well, it's a little complicated. I'm not sure I can put it in layman's terms for you, but basically, everything we usually use here in the city is powered by indemnitium. It's mm -hmm. a type of energy that's produced from trials. Huh? How can trials produce energy? Well, the I'm not oratrice. completely sure of all the details myself, but basically, when a trial is in session, the Oratrice Mécanique d'Analyse Cardinale harvests whoa, 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 hey, hey. justice and converts it into energy to be used all around Fontaine. Uh, girl, I didn't think she was going to go, Oratrice Mécanique Cardinale. I was not ready for that, bro. Say that again. So that's what its other function is? That the oratrice was created by the archon to make. <laughs> I like hearing her go, the oratrice, and then Pymar's just like, so that oratrice was created by the archon? What was it? Oratrice? But Pymar still doesn't get it. How could something unreliable we sound probably so stupid to her. turned into a stable power source for these machines? Well, Venti and Nahida both said. created by belief and turn it into power for all of Fontaine, yep. right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Even though I've never heard anyone really put it that way before, it sounds like it makes sense. Don't worry. It doesn't. Besides indemnitium, we have another type of energy called pneumosia. Pneumosia. Oh, thank God. I didn't know how to say that. Pneumosia. It isn't produced by the power of the Archon, but it is unstable by nature. Okay. Even now, it still cannot be widely used by civilians. <sighs> I thought I'd find you hard at work, but here you are chatting the day away. Since you're already talking, I'm sure you wouldn't mind. <laughs> Why did I think this guy was going to come up and say, <laughs> I thought I'd find you hard. <laughs> like, what? Excuse me, sir? I I've just met you for the first time. Y you again? Didn't I already promise you that I'd hey, have the Hey, back away from the lady. By next month? Why are you hounding me now? <laughs> That's what I thought. Wee oui, wee, oui. and then Paimon accents like a way way southern accent. That's just you. Okay, whatever. Yeah, but how do we know that you won't? This go guy is French. You know how I can tell. Month. I want fifty percent. His today. mustache. Wait, no, 
70%. How about you 70% my nutsack? Huh? You... Back away from the lady. It seems business isn't so great for the workshop. We've already finished our job and delivered the materials. Maybe now's a good time to leave? No! Don't be a b Stay here and help her. Hey, hold on! <gasps> Before you go around trying to collect payments, why don't you settle your own debts first? Yo, let's go! If Confrary of Cabriere wants to poach clients from Northland Bank, that's fine. Let's go! But I'm afraid you still owe the bank a hefty sum of more. So why don't we work things out between us first, before you get back to your little conversation here? Yeah, leave the lady alone. Hey, girly. Ah, uh, you're from Northland Bank. I'm here to but collect. We said we'll pay everything we owe next month. Why are you hounding me now? Because I want my money now. Uh, Hi, child. Paimon, I didn't think I'd run into you here in Fontaine. I like how he just what walks the right through them. It's like, what's up, guys? Oh my god. Don't move. Hi. We're surprised to see you too. What are you doing here in Fontaine? You didn't want to stay in Stejnaya? We sure seem to have uh, run into a lot of friends today. Weird. <laughs> Long story short, Let him cook. I've dude. already been in Fontaine for some time now. And honestly, things have been pretty boring. But it seems that fate brought our paths together today. Hmm. Not only will I have some good friends here now, but ones who always seem to find trouble. Either way you look at it. It seems things are going to get a lot more interesting now. How's your brother? Pretty sure we'd want to avoid anything that you'd find interesting. Besides, our trip here has gone pretty well so far. Right, Traveler? I mean, we almost got arrested, but yeah. I think we've already weathered enough storms for now. <clears throat> uh, hey, you, Northland Bank boy. Aren't you forgetting something? Imagine owing Tartalia money, and you're like, hey... Bank boy. Bro, you're about to get your nutsack kicked in, dude. Don't interrupt. It's not often <laughs> I run into the traveler. Don't like interrupt this. me. Why don't you wait for me over there for a while? Uh, you kidding? Aren't you the one looking for us? You really expect us to sit and twiddle our thumbs while you catch up with your friends? Uh-oh. Listen to me, boy. If you want your mora, fine. Why don't you come and take it? Why do you gotta say boy like that? Boy. Hey. I just said not to interrupt. Oh, this is your the warning, way, bro. The last time I took Tonya and Tuser ice fishing, Tuser said, Hey, that's <laughs> way over the line. All right, boys, let's see who has to pay up now. Uh, can you at least let me finish one sentence? <laughs> Fine. Though the bank told me not to get rough with our clients, I'm going to kill all of you. It. This is an act of self defense. <laughs> you two will have to be my witnesses, okay? I got you. I will protect you, bro. I'm sure this won't take long. It will not take long. Like two seconds. Brace yourself. This is gonna hurt. Easy. Easy. Five seconds. Flat. That's all you needed, dude. What's your deal, Brad? How are you so strong if you're just a staffer from Snezhnaya's Northland Bank? Wait, don't tell me you're... <laughs> oh, now you notice. It's a little late, don't you think? Oh my god, I just love this. Sure this is amazing. Just make that you don't mess with Northland Bank. Got it? Got it? You see this vision on my hip? Yeah, don't mess with me. Oh, his little uh -huh. hippie window. What happened? Now's my chance. Bro, he'll still kick your butt, trust me. <laughs> he knocked him out, dude. That was weird. That dude went bunk slumber. Lay a brother gone. I'm not sure. It's as if I suddenly lost control of my hydro powers when I needed them. Interesting. Maybe there's something wrong with my vision? Well, who do you take that to? A vision store? Strange. How could this is supposed happen? to work. First time Paimon's ever heard of someone losing control of their vision. That's interesting. So he's losing control of his vision? Never mind. It doesn't matter. If I want to stay sharp, it I shouldn't be relying too much on my vision anyway. Besides, Smart. I always have my delusion in case I need it. Well, you probably shouldn't use it too much. So 
its work for Northland Bank? Well, I guess it's because I've been in a bad mood lately. Oh, what does that have to do with Fontaine? <laughs> what kind of reason is that? Wait, since when do you feel down about anything? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I still have a lot to learn about myself. How is it that Child is a harbinger and yet he's just so likable? And he's like, oh, yeah, you know, what's up, guys? Hey. <laughs> but recently, there seems to be some sort of restless power stirring inside of me. And I don't know why, but every now and then I feel like I'm He's in a hot, that's mood. why. Is that what it is, dude? Hmm. Interesting. Maybe you losing control of your vision just now is connected with that power you're feeling inside. Hmm. That is a possibility. Do you have any idea where it came from? I can't remember if I ever mentioned it before, but when I was 14, I fell into some unknown abyss. It was during that time I learned nearly all of my abilities. Uh-huh. The one who took me under her wing and taught me was named Skirk. Skirk? Okay. She was always quiet and very mysterious. Nobody knew where she came from or what she had been through, and she was always very strict when teaching me combat techniques. Okay. One time, I asked her why she was willing to take me on as an apprentice. From what I could make of her answer, it was because I had awakened it. What and is it? traces of it remained on me. She said that all my combat Confused, training would man. be useful in the future. But what is it? What did you awaken? She never explained the beast that, inside. But my guess is that it's related to a dream I saw when I had just fallen into that abyss. In my dream, I was in the deepest depths of the sea, mm -hmm. and the boundless seabed was all around me. But in front of me appeared a whale that was so massive, I felt like I couldn't breathe. The whale in his boss fight. A whale? Oh, that sounds familiar! When we fought against you before, you summoned a huge whale that seemed to leap at us. Is that the one? <laughs> That's just an abstract form of a whale that I create using my elemental powers. Okay. It takes that shape because the scene I dreamt of the whale has always been stuck in my mind. I'll never forget it. The jiggle. Don't look at his jiggle physics, chat. It's weird. So you used the whale as inspiration for one of your moves? Huh. Hmm. Seems a little twisted to Paimon. He's probably a Genshin whale, yeah. So why don't you just go ask your master? Maybe she knows the answer. Ugh. You make it sound so easy. Ever since the incident I experienced there, I've never there, you're stopped the one talking about nuts. and that unknown abyss. No, I'm not. I'm totally not looking at his his vision. But it's been years now, and I've still found nothing. There Don't look at these fully. The Don't say fully rendered balls, dude. <laughs> oh, it sounds like some kind of ghost story. Why was the music going hard as hell in the background? By the yeah. way. I'm out of leads at this point, but there's nothing more I can do. It seems that strange encounters in this world tend to be elusive like that. Oh, seems the time really flies when I'm talking with you. I just remembered I have somewhere else I need to be, so I should get going. What? More work for the Northland Bank? Uh, no. no, it's no. more of a personal appointment. Lately, I've been sparring with some of Fontaine's official champions. Are we going to see him fight against Florind? Ooh, I hope. I hope, duelist? dude. You mean it's their job to duel? Yep. In Fontaine, before a criminal goes to court, they're given one chance to defend their honor by requesting a duel with an official champion mm. duelist. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you like the diving? A 10. The a champion 10. duelists are of all course powerful it, fighters dude. selected the from among the nation's best. And the duel itself is a no-holds-barred fight with no specified stop. Google, point. show me this man's balls. So engaging in such a duel is regarded as a symbol of defending your honor. If Doro. a criminal manages it's to true, win, I'm not lying by the way. They'll be acquitted. But if they lose, they'll have no choice but to stand trial. Dora, what is this? What? Are you guys new to one of my streams? You guys know I'm one of the sussiest Genshin Impact streamers. Also, this is Doro at night. I'm a different guy than I am during the day. During the day, I'm all like, ha ha. Hi guys, it's me, Doro. And during the night, I'm like, Eula's ass, two Christmas hams, you know what I'm saying? And the worst case scenario oh, is just over there like, oh my god, who am I dating? <laughs> Though it's rumored that Fontaine has a death penalty, from what I can tell, no one has ever been officially sentenced to death. In other words, on Maxor, she's got the biggest slappy in all of Tavat. 
Exactly. So really, the only exactly. people who opt to duel are those who have suffered a grave injustice in being accused, or mm. those who greatly value their honor. Otherwise, why gamble with your life? True. So, do many people actually get out of their trials by winning the duel? Zero. Apparently, it's exceedingly rare for anyone to actually win. Hmm. Fontaine probably enacted this system as a way to show that the nation respects the honor of its citizens. But it's like a rigged game, dude. Besides, none of the champion duelists are to be trifled with, which is exactly why I was itching to face them as soon as I got to Fontaine. Apparently, the one I'm meeting today, Clorend, is the strongest of the champion duelists. Yes, I want to see that fight, I've been dude. asking her for some time before she finally agreed to face me today. Can I watch? Well, that's child for you. Hmm. Paimon feels like we heard that name somewhere before. Clorend. When we met the Hydra Archon. Oh, before I forget, I want you to have this. Your vision? Your vision? What? Here, you can be a Hydro Visionary now. I'm just worried that it could become uncontrollable again. I'd be pretty upset if it got in the way of my duel. So, I think I'll be better off without it for now. So that's why he doesn't have his vision in the trailer. He just gives it away. Besides, I just need you to hold on to it for a short while. I'll come retrieve it when I have some time later. Or he's planning something, and I think he's planning something is what it is. Hyman knows what you're up to. You just want an excuse to come talk to us again, don't you? <laughs> Whatever gave you that idea. Yeah, he's planning something, for real. Later. Here, here's my vision. <laughs> that sneaky guy. He said he's been feeling down lately, but he seemed the same as ever to Paimon. <sighs> Well, hmm, since we aware. don't have much to do for now, we might as well walk around and see the city before Lenny's performance. Okay. Under Paimon's enthusiastic leadership, you walk all around the Court of Fontaine. Wow, who could have seen that coming? The reporter who was barely around for most of the story was the murderer all along. Hey, don't blurt it out. Uh, sorry. Don't be a, don't be a Ronnie, Paimon. All. Oh my god. Paimon's a Ronnie. Coming. The murder mystery novels here are amazing. I never thought I'd see the day when Paimon would actually enjoy reading. The whodunits here in Fontaine are a lot different than the light novels you see from Yai Publishing House. Both have their merits, but Paimon thinks this style of novels are more... Well, huh. novel. It's so Ban Paimon. To One the moment when the mystery is uncovered, especially in the one Paimon was just reading. You should buy a copy and read it too. I'm good. Readings for losers. Oh, sorry about that. I play Genshin Impact. I don't know how to read. Uh, hey, shouldn't we be heading to the Opera House to see Linny's performance soon? It's almost time for the show to start, so we should get going. All right, let's go do it. What a place to hold a performance! No wonder Linny and Lynette I have heard Yolan's voice line. Yes, I have heard that. Huh. Looks like there's a lot of people standing around the fountain up ahead. Oh, Archon. Please bless us with a bright and healthy child. We pray. <clears throat> Your wife cannot get pregnant. I don't know why you always feel the need to ask so much. I'll be happy as long as our child is healthy and lives a peaceful life. <laughs> I guess if there are, kid, then there's no doubt they'll turn out smart. Okay. Maybe this is one of the customs in Fontaine. There sure are a lot of couples here. Do we have someone in chat trying to spoil stuff? What the hell was that? Vasher? Huh? What's wrong? Vasher. Vasher. Who? Did you just say something, Paimon? No, Paimon didn't say anything. Are you hearing things? Who voice was that? Welcome to the Fountain of Lucene. All the water flowing through Fontaine converges here. It's customary for newlyweds to come here and wish for children. <gasps> okay. Who would that be? When did you get here? Mm, when he asked me to wait here for you, remember? Yes, I remember. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. 
Uh, let's leave. I don't want to be here anymore. I seem to hear a faint voice just now. What do you mean? There are a lot of people here right now. The voice was coming from the fountain. <laughs> hey, you're not trying to scare Paimon, are you? No! Besides, it's the middle of the day. It's not the time for eerie things. Hmm, I see. I might be able to tell you something that could help explain the voice you heard. I'm all ears. In fact, you might not be imagining things at all. I suspect that what you heard is a result of your hypersensitivity to the hydro element. Okay. Others in my family have had similar experiences. It's because of his sensitivity to the hydro element? But what would hearing a voice have to do with elemental power? Yeah. When do you cry, Paimon? <laughs> okay, so we're doing some shadow work now, Paimon. So uh, what makes you cry? When do you cry? Wait. Just answer me. When do you cry? When do you cry? And do you cry like this? Wah, wah, or oh, wah, wah. How do you cry? Uh, when Paimon's really sad. Oh, and when Paimon's super happy. Oh, and also when Paimon's really, really scared. So you cry all the time. Then you should understand that tears contain your most intense emotions. Like I just mentioned, the Fountain of Lucene is where all the flowing water in Fontaine converges. Okay. Even the tears that fall to the ground will eventually gather here. So maybe what you heard was the intense emotion coming from someone's tears. Uh, I don't know. So, what did the voice say? It seemed to be calling out someone's name. Huh. Vache. If you were hearing their emotions... Paimon wonders what happened to them. Rather than worrying about them, we should worry about my brother first. All right. Don't let that. That's, yeah, that's a bit of a stretch, dude. He tends to get pretty nervous just before a performance. <gasps> I didn't so notice, but she has like a little tint of little green right he here on, on her hair. Oh, right. That makes sense. Let's go in and see Lenny. Okay. Ooh. Ah, traveler in Paimon. Good to see you. I knew you two would come. This place is cool. Are you kidding? We want to miss it for the world. We've been looking forward to it. <laughs> I can tell, judging by how early you've arrived. Look, if you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. If you're late, you're fired. But you're actually right on time. The audience still hasn't started entering the venue yet, which means now is the perfect chance for us to take you to the best seats in the house. Wait just a moment. I'll fetch the tickets. Okay. I have a feeling something's gonna happen right here. What's Sumeru? Something that used to be in the game. The Opera House has assigned seating, so you always have to make reservations. I've already reserved your seats, and here are your tickets. Linny's so ahead of everything. I love Ooh, that. Ooh, front row seats! Thanks, Linny! Don't mention it. There's no need to keep thanking me. Sorry, I'm an overthinker. Hey, Lenny, could you come over here and take a look at this? Simon Cowell? Oh, I'll be right there. Seems there's an issue with the stage props over there. That's Cowell, my assistant, calling me. I'll go lend him a hand. Sure. Yeah, Do your we'll thing. just go to our seats. You go ahead, Lenny. Hello, sir. Oh, these should be our seats. These are my seats come here. On, let's sit down. <laughs> Poor uh, people. Oh, sorry, what? Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've been in this exact situation before. Um, hi, I'm Traveler. Hey, Traveler. Maybe we should strike up a conversation with the person next to us. Since we're sitting together and the rest of the place is practically empty still. It's kind of awkward if we don't say anything. I think that's hilarious that she just said that because you can hear, at least I could hear her voice echoing. That means she wasn't even whispering that. So he heard all of that. Isn't that usually your job? Uh, you little... Of oh course God. you put this on Paimon. Excuse me. I did not realize you felt awkward. Told you he heard all. I am all. terribly sorry. Oh my God. Hey! Traveler. Isn't this really awkward? You should strike up a conversation. I would be perfectly happy to chat with you if that is what you would like. 
I mean, sure. Oh my God, his voice actor? Who voices Nouvellet? Oh, uh. God, he looks like Virgil. Oh, you heard all of that, did ya? <laughs> Boy, you sure have good ears. Paimon thought she was keeping her voice down. You weren't. I could hear your echo. Uh, wait, that's not it. Paimon's sorry. Um, Paimon's the one who was being rude, talking under her breath like that. Oh my God. Uh, so, let's talk, but, uh, what should we talk about? Oh, this is so cringe. Uh, oh, Paimon's got it. You're also here early and sitting in the front. Are you a friend of Linny's too? Ether's just sitting there like, I am dead inside. A friend, you say? Well, if Mr. Linny would like to be my friend, I would be more than happy to reciprocate. Oh, that's so nice. He scares me. Oh, so you're not friends with Linny then? Oh, this is getting more awkward by the second. Show me oh, Kelso, uh, thank you for the hundred beans. I appreciate you. Make her I'm doing only part one today, Fire Knight Atlas. Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. We just arrived in Vaudain. It is an honor to meet you two. I have heard of your deeds across Tavat. I have heard of your deeds across Tavat. Oh my god, he's scary, bro. And as required by proper etiquette, I will also introduce myself. I am. Oh, Monsieur Nervillet. Ner an There's an R in there? Here to see my show. Hold on a second. There's an R in that? Nervillet? That was Nouvellet. Nervillet. Interesting. Don't listen to Linny? Now I'm confused. Ah, Mr. Linny. I should say it is in fact an honor for me to see your performance in person. Nervillet. Oh, wait. Nervillet? Nervillet. I saw you all chatting just now, Nervillet. but it seems you still don't know who Monsieur Nervillet is. Now you, now you, where's the R, Linny? You didn't say the R that time, you said Nervillet. Take a struggle. Allow me to introduce you to Fontaine's Chief Justice. That seat is always reserved for him. Up there. It wouldn't be too much to say that he's the symbol of justice and honesty here in Fontaine. Ooh, uh, sorry for Time to cancel, Linny. <laughs> An important person. Time to cancel Linny. Uh oh. No offense taken. Being Chief Justice is merely what I do for work. Nearly every person has their usual reserved seat, so I'm not so special, really. He's so humble. I don't trust him. And by the way, I should probably let you know, even though I would prefer not to. There's no R in my name. There's someone sitting up there in the VIP seats that has been striking a pose for Oh my quite god, a it's while. her. I believe she is trying to give you a most elegant and impressive first impression. Do you also not like her? So I think you should take notice of her sooner rather than later. Otherwise, she may become flustered. I don't think anyone likes her, even him. All right, I guess I'll. <laughs> Farina, the hydro Farina. Icon. He's like a disappointed a dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Satisfied look on her face. Guess she has no idea that you saw right through her act. Very good. That is for the best. No need to pay her any more attention. We may now <laughs> enjoy the show. Don't pay attention to her. Huh? So is this what things are like between the Chief Justice and the Hydro Archon? I guess. I'm just going right. with it, dude. Please wait just a moment longer. I've pretty much finished my preparations, and the performance will start as soon as the audience has made their way to their seats. Are we the only audience? The show's finally about to start! Paimon can hardly wait! Paimon's never seen a real live magic show before! The crowds enter the venue, and the curtains open, and the show begins. Okay, it did fill up. Paimon will try to stay quiet. <laughs> He's just like, hmm, could you shut the f*** up? Could you tell your balloon to be quiet, please? Welcome, one and all, to the Opera Epicles. I am the star of today's show, Linny. And over here is my sister, Lynette, who will be working as my wonderful assistant. Please, let's give her a warm welcome. I had a sound for this. Woo! Yeah! Hello, everyone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I know she may seem to be a little sleepy right now, but that's just a sign that she's nervous. 
Whatever. Oh, she's not ready. Now, some of you may be thinking, two vision holders who can freely manipulate elemental powers performing magic is not true magic at all. Mm -hmm. So, I would like to take a moment to assure you that elemental powers will have nothing to do with what you will witness on the stage today. That guy looks freaky. Both he looks like he's part Lynette of the court of the myself have removed our visions for the show. That way, even the gods won't be able to help us. Oh, good point. That's what makes the show real magic. Now, without further ado, let the show begin. Lynette will now exit the stage to make some preparations. I know you might miss her, but don't worry. She'll be coming right back on stage momentarily. Perhaps in an unexpected way. I'm sure she'll be stealing the spotlight soon enough. Oh, and before I forget, I like invested there's now. one more thing I should say. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. Oh, I didn't. A magician's greatest skill is making things disappear or appear. The possibilities are endless. <sighs> this is cute. <gasps> My God, how? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he had no friends growing up? But this isn't what you came for. These little tricks, you've seen them all before. So it's time for something truly extraordinary, don't you think? Yes, I am ready. This one's a little tricky. A dove. Using this water to I don't feel good about I shall this. Make my sister vanish completely. Uh oh. Right before your very eyes. Look at Clorin standing there. She can swim. It's actually quite simple. She'll just turn into air bubbles and float right out of the top. Oh no. Uh, I told them to check all the props carefully. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Get her With out. The lid on. Even air can't escape. An amateur magician would be getting very nervous right around now. <laughs> Luckily, it's me on stage. So let me show you what a true virtuoso can do. A dove. still there don't go too far we don't want to use up all our magic hi i'm back uh -huh. <gasps> wow magic <laughs> and she had a change of clothes too That was cute. I really like that. Whoa! What in the world just happened? How did he do that? Helen didn't seem to do anything. <laughs> Paimon's like, oh my god, that was so crazy. Was it Lynette inside the water tank? How did she disappear and then reappear out of nowhere? No wonder he's a famous magician. If we could see easily through his tricks, then that would mean that his skills are still lacking. Very true. To appreciate magic, you should focus on the show happening on stage, rather than getting caught up in trying to see that which has been intentionally hidden. Ah, guess you're right. I don't couldn't believe her eyes He seems mean. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm glad you enjoyed that performance. But our magical journey has only just begun. Yeah, he pretty much just I've told Paimon to shut up. More yeah. astonishing surprises for everyone here. The magic of transformation and disappearance can go far beyond what you've just seen. 
Oh, the little cat is so cute. I'm sure many of you are thinking that escaping the water tank was impressive enough. But Lynette is still my assistant after all. In which case, I have ample time to make all necessary preparations. So, for my next trick, I will require the participation of one lucky audience member. I don't trust this. Please, if my assistants could bring out the magical boxes now. There are two boxes and only two boxes. Okay. One is here and one is there in the aisle among the audience. I'm sure many of our clever audience members have already guessed our next magic trick. A swap. <laughs> a swap. Our lucky audience member and I will each enter a magic box. After one minute, we will each emerge from the opposite box. Now, please, everyone pay very close attention to the box you see here. Don't give me any chance to make a move. Wow, how's he gonna do this? <laughs> <laughs> I love how the audience was completely quiet, and then all you hear is, Oh my god, how is he gonna do this? Hey, do you think this is all magic tricks? Oh or my god, Paimon, shut up. Superpowers? Can we just watch the show? Just watch and see, dude. The lucky audience member will be generated by this random number selector. It selects numbers entirely at random. Sure Even does. I don't know who will be chosen to participate. Now then, let's begin. Oh, let me see. Oh, row seven, seat three. Congratulations. You now have the chance to experience magic firsthand for an entire minute. Please, come forward. My assistant will take you beside the magic box. That's my pickup line. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It might be a little cramped inside, but no need to feel nervous. We've carefully arranged everything mm. for you to be as comfortable as possible. Wait, was that the thief? You don't need to do anything, but no matter what strange things may happen, don't come out of the box. Okay. If the magic is interrupted... Who knows where you might end up? You might even find yourself in the fortress of Meripede. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's like, uh, I don't want to do this. All right. Before I enter the magic box, there is one more thing I need to ask the audience to do. Could you all give me a countdown? Like this. 60, 59, From 60? 58. I can't count that. Just high. keep counting down. You can go a little faster or slower if you like. I won't be able to see anything in the pitch black box, so I'll be relying on your voices to know when time is up. Oh, and no tricks now. If you quickly count from 60 in just 30 seconds, then I'll be in a tough spot. Ooh, Paimon kind of wants to count faster after hearing him say that. <laughs> oh my god, Nuvalet hates us. No, no, that won't do. I can see it in your eyes. You still can't be trusted. Let's Paimon is, are, is like that teenager at a movie theater that won't shut the f up and keep talking to their friends and being on their phone while the movie's going on. That happened to me when I was watching Barbie, dude. Come on, repeat after me. 60, 59, 58. 60, 59, 58. That's right, perfect. Keep it going. All right, I'll see you all on the other side once you've finished counting. 54, 53. Girl, slow down! Why aren't you counting, Nevelet? I am counting in my head. I think things are exciting enough in here as it is. <laughs> because, Paimon, I can think for myself. I can count in my head, you stupid... elf. Merely a consequence of my identity and personality. Do not worry about me. Just enjoy the show. I love him, I think. You look so serious that Paimon thought you might be feeling uncomfortable or something. Uncomfortable? No. Annoyed? Very much so. 40, 39, 38! Mr. Linny, are you all right in there? Is everything ready? Yeah, shut up. Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just double-checking the direction of the magic. It would be a disaster if we get sent to the wrong places. For example, midair right above the audience. Even though he's saying that, Lenny doesn't seem nervous at all. Oh my god, Paimon, be quiet, please. Just watch the show. Ah, what was that noise? Did you hear it too? Did it come on the stage? Not sure. Anyway, it doesn't seem like anyone's worried about it. 25! 24! 
Tony Lenny! What's wrong, Mr. Lenny? I can still hear you moving in there. I seem to have accidentally knocked over a decoration. I'm trying to fix it, but it's pitch black <laughs> What is here. going I on, can't tell dude? Left from right. Never mind the decorations. There's no time for that. The show is what's important. No, that's unacceptable. I want my show to be perfect. Don't oh worry, my god, bro. Seconds. Hear them counting? 19, 18, 17. Lenny's a perfectionist. Uh, it seems things aren't quite going as planned. I apologize, everyone. It feels like you're all starting to count faster, but that's all right. I know it can be tiring to do such a long countdown. Ten seconds and change is still plenty of time. Okay. Ten! Almost there now. Eight. Whew. Swapping two people is harder work than you might think. Even a master magician like me can't guarantee I'll get it right the first time. <laughs> hey, wait. Is this the back one? I can't tell. They both look the same inside. Huh? No, that's not it. I'll try again. Seven. Hey, slow down. Six. Honestly. Five. Four. Three. Uh, whoops. Two. That doesn't count. Zero. I'm absolutely mind blown right now, dude. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh, I don't think that was supposed to happen. Oh my god, you just killed him. Bro, he killed his assistant. Oh, shit. Is this part of the show? No, you dumb bitch. Mr. Lenny, you're going to use magic to fix the stage now, right? Abracadabra. Abracadabra. You ain't dead. You ain't dead, homie. Oh, my God. I murdered him. What happened? You murdered him. Oh, no. Maybe this isn't part of the show. The girl was still in that box, right? Uh, for her sake, I hope she was not in that box, and that's two people he killed. This performance is over. Medical staff with me. Guards, secure the scene and detain all the performers. Seal the exits. No one is allowed in or out at this time. Oh. My God. <laughs> yes, that's right. If this was just an accident, then we must investigate the cause. But if this was all part of some scheme, then... Then those accountable will not escape the judgment of the God of Justice! Oh my gosh, shut up. No need to be alarmed, you two. We'll get to the bottom of this soon enough. Oh my- Dude! I ain't gonna lie! Unfortunately, the person who is in the magic box has been pronounced dead. His name was Cowell, one of the assistants in Linny's magic troupe. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I thought what was going to happen was like they were going to switch places, but then they were going to open the box and then she wasn't there. And it'd be like another missing person's case, right? You'd be like, oh my God, it's missing. And then he would like get in trouble. I didn't freaking think he was going to crush someone to death. I did not think he was going to crush Simon Cowell to death. Dude. Apparently the fireworks on stage ignited the ropes that were suspending the water tank, which then caused the tank to fall onto the stage. As of now, we are still not sure why we found Cowl in the box, rather than the guest from the audience. Yeah. And after an initial search of the area, the guards have confirmed that the girl is nowhere to be found. So now we have a missing girl, and Cowl is dead. It appears that this incident was not merely some mishap with the performance, and there are many indications that it is connected with the case of the serial disappearances of young women. Well, uh, the... The serial disappearances case? <gasps> That's the case that Charlotte mentioned before. Oh my god, the music. Do you guys hear the music? Oh, that's so good. <laughs> I know. I know 
the truth. I can see through the whole thing. Really, using such a shallow and obvious mystery as his finale. Did he really underestimate us that badly? I say that our powerful magician, Mr. Linny, is now the prime suspect for the serial disappearances case. I thought this was gonna happen to us, not Lenny. Huh? Why me? This whole thing was an accident. No, oh, this all occurred during your magic wow. show, did it not? The missing girl disappeared after being chosen, did she not? The deceased is one of your assistants, is he not? You're asking me too many questions. Now that I think about it, that whole speech about magicians making things disappear was nothing more than a provocation, a bald-faced challenge. That can't be right. How can Linny oh, do this? Dude. He was in the box on the stage the entire time. We could even hear his voice. Besides, before the show, he told us that he would like to catch the criminal behind the disappearances. He couldn't possibly mean catching himself. It's hard to believe all this happened during the show. Save discussion for a later time, please. Lady Farina, may I assume that your comments just now constitute an accusation against Mr. Linney and his associates, and that you are pressing charges? Huh? I just think that he... Well, I uh, think it might be a little early to talk about formally pressing charges. Oh, where'd all that energy go? She was all like, is he not? Is he not? Is he not? And now she's like, mm -mm -mm. But what Lady Farina said just now makes perfect sense. Hmm. Looks like she's gonna pass she's so dramatic for justice. A kidnapping and murder carried out under the cover of a magic show. Lady Farina. This is exactly what they wanted, dude. They orchestrated this. <laughs> uh, I mean, of course, my dear people. But what excites me even more than the The killer is Doro? Don't don't spoil it. Is the opponent. <sighs> Why would you spoil it? Yes, I voice a character in this game, and I am actually the villain of 4.0. Why would you tell people that? That's right. I mean you, Traveler. You'll support Lenny, won't you? After all, he was the one who helped you the first time we met. I trust Lenny, not you. <laughs> then there's no problem at all. You know, the Traveler and I already had a duel the first time we met. You better not say that I'm an accomplice. But with Lenny's help, our little duel ended in a draw. <laughs> but draws really are the most Dude, boring she's psychotic and boring. Outcome. So no more draws. Or, uh, not boring. Um, Between the two of us, there must be a clear winner and loser. And what better place to hold such a riveting showdown and decide the true victor than here on the grandest of stages. The yeah, the music is the really game. good. I really like it. Obnoxious is what I meant to say. Yeah, I don't know why I said boring. Yeah, she's really like psychotic and obnoxious, man. Like, I don't know. Huh. It wasn't a draw. She obviously lost last time. I understand. Charges have now been pressed. And as such, a trial mm. is in order. Well, Traveler, seems Lady Farina has set you in her sights. But putting her dramatic rhetoric aside for a moment, I would like to ask you. Are you willing to act as Mr. Linney's attorney and defend him in this case? Do I look like a lawyer to you? I've never passed my bar exam. But yes, I am. Very well. The trial will be held a day from now in the Opera House. A day? Both That's not enough time. Both may investigate the scene to build their cases and search for the truth. Linney and his troop are all potential suspects and shall remain within the Opera House. The audience may begin to leave in an orderly fashion once they have been cleared by the guards. A day isn't that long. Let's see what kind of case. So we have to act as a lawyer? Oh god. In such a short amount of time. <laughs> this ain't going to go well. Dude. We got to call I'm Yanfei really up, dude. Looking forward to hearing it. Everyone is dismissed and the audience begins to leave along with Farina and Nirvili. Hey man. Did you mean to kill that guy? <laughs> Sorry about everything that happened just now. Were you frightened? Of course! Who wouldn't be scared after witnessing an accident like that? 
Yeah, I'm a little shaken up myself. How could this happen? And poor Cal. I know you already claimed that you would defend me, but now it's just us talking. Tell me, do you think I could possibly be the murderer? No! Good to hear. Thank you so much for trusting me. I'm sure everyone sees me as the biggest suspect at this point. Well, yeah. But Makes sense. if you ask me, the whole thing is mysteries layered upon mysteries, such that all that's left is confusion. I don't know whether what happened there on the stage was purely an accident or not. Dude, it was all Cal orchestrated, was okay? I got my tinfoil hat on. It was the court. As for how They're that running low on energy. from the audience could suddenly disappear, I'm afraid I don't have any answers either. If someone tampered with my performance, then we need to figure out what they did. Do you think this accent has something connection with Arlecchino? It could. I don't know, honestly. Even a skilled and knowledgeable magician like myself couldn't pull all that off in just one minute. Yeah, it's really weird. Which is precisely why we need to investigate. As this book says, <clears throat> the impossible could not have happened. Whatever happened must have been that which is possible. <laughs> Dude, I was not expecting that. Paimon's face! <laughs> Adi's making this an emote for us, dude. That is so funny. I love that. They heard your laugh, by the way. <laughs> where, did you, where did you get those glasses, dude? Paimon bought them when we were reading at the bookshop in the city earlier. Pretty cool, huh? I'm taking a screenshot. Yep. Yep. I love it. Don't worry. Paimon used her own savings to buy them. It wasn't from our travel funds. We should have the option to keep these on her for the rest of Genshin Impact. I love this, dude. I think they look cute on you, Paimon. Oh, Lynette, you're too nice. You have good taste, Lynette. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right attitude. Feeling depressed isn't going love to it. help me now. Yeah, what saving? She doesn't self. work. She mooches off of my money. But with the guards watching our every move, it's going to be especially difficult for Lynette and I to prove our own innocence. Good thing you agreed to be our attorneys. <sighs> yeah. Thanks for that. I'm totally licensed. We'll be counting on you. Yes, mm -hmm. thank you so much. You're welcome. Did they just let anyone be a lawyer here. Uh, I won't let you down. Yeah, just leave it to us. Oh, uh, since we're going to start investigating, Paimon has a question first. Where did Lynette go during the performance? Oh, well... I'm afraid that would involve some of our essential trade secrets as magicians. A magician never reveals their secret. Linny, you are on trial for murder and possibly kidnapping. You can tell me how a dove came out your ass, okay? Jesus Christ, now is not the time. The secrets behind our magic are past saving, Linny. Thank you. And Lynette has some common sense. A great magician never reveals... You're on trial for murder. I suppose you're right. The truth behind our tricks is going to be important evidence yes. that will be weighted during the trial. Unless you want to go to prison with Big Mike for life. You want that, Lenny? You want Big Mike? <sighs> Tis truly a He pity. wants you. As a magician, our magic show is a work of art. We've poured countless hours Seems and spared sus. no effort in perfecting it. <laughs> Bro, shut out a dove, for real. But if revealing our secrets How did that will help dove you uncover out the your truth butt? behind what happened, I need then to know. it will be well worth it. Did you pre-stuff it, or was it like an illusion? We should go somewhere else if we're going to discuss our magic tricks. We'll go speak with the guards, and in the meantime, I can't take you can go investigate Paimon the stage seriously. in the seating areas. Alright, let's go have a look while the investigation teams are still here. Detective Paimon is on the case! I love that. Alright, let's do it. Going. Uh, we're Linny and Lynette's attorneys. Totally licensed. Ah, uh, I see. You must be the traveler that Lady Farina mentioned. Listen, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I'd avoid getting mixed up in this whirlpool of a mess if I were you. Well, I'm already in it. Huh? What do you mean? Come with me and you'll see. Okay. The deceased is one of Linny's assistants named Cal. Yes. Even though he hadn't joined the troop long, he was hardworking and everyone generally liked him. The assistants are usually in charge of setting up and inspecting the props, as well as assisting with the show and I'm keeping sorry. the crowd engaged. I shouldn't be laughing. I'm laughing because why does this look like Gumby, dude? 
<laughs> why, why they make this guy look like Gumby? <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Why is that chalk outline like that, dude? Oh. As you probably saw. Someone died and you're laughing? Audience, yes, I'm sorry. I use humor in fell, stressful situations. Smash the box with Cowl inside it. But why was Cowl inside? This is the real mystery. We've already searched the scene and were unable to find any traces of the girl. However, if you look carefully, the box was positioned directly under the water tank. Rest in peace, Gumby. Ropes holding the tank were then burned by the pyrotechnics What's on a stage, Gumby? Just Google it. Snap. All these factors lining up so perfectly makes it hard to see this as a mere accident. If anything, the more logical explanation is that the whole incident was intentionally planned, and Linny is the most likely person to have access to all these areas. Correct. But he doesn't have a motive. Can you please take your glasses off? Are you both good friends of his? You can't say we're good friends, but we've known each other for a little while. Paimon's gonna get us arrested. So in just a I short time, know it, he dude. was not only able to win your trust, but even convince you to act as his attorneys. The guard looks like Hitler. Did you not pay attention in history class? You obviously didn't, because Hitler doesn't look like that, by the way. I know there's no such thing as magic. That man has a mustache? The real Hitler. trick of a magician Honestly. is holding the audience in the palm of their hand. I've seen a lot of cases, and I, can I can't really trust Paimon on this. I can't either. She's gonna get us in trouble. Reliable kind of evidence. But that's not always true. Sorry, I tend to be pretty straightforward. Just know that I'm warning you for your own good. I really appreciate that. Anyway, you may investigate the scene of the crime yourselves if you're curious. Who knows? Maybe Why does Paimon look like Hitler? Some new evidence. <laughs> Everyone with a mustache. You can use the case record to confirm your current evidence and clue collection situation and sort case related information. You can check as yet undiscovered evidence and clues. Okay, cool. Use the perception skill to find evidence and clue. This is cool. The deceased identity. Whoa. All right, examine the line. This is where the magic box was struck. If Kyle weren't inside the box at that moment, he might have dodged the falling water tank. Okay. The broken magic box was left on the scene after the guards completed their investigation. Looking at it now, the water tank must have struck it really hard. Crushing him to death. This is the rope that broke and caused the water tank to fall. It was burnt. Hmm. The rope looks pretty durable. How can it be burned through so quickly by fireworks? So either Linny didn't realize this was a safety concern or... Hmm? Why are you suddenly so serious, Traveler? I'm just looking at where the rope snapped. Whoa. Look! This bit is made from different material! Most of it was burned away, but there's still a little bit of it left. It seems to be flammable. Something was made with that kind of material in it, then that means. Wait, why don't you write all this down? Let's take notes. Okay. Special rope. This rope was used to suspend the water tank. It suddenly broke, and the fireworks were being launched out on stage. The investigation has shown that the location of the rope snapped has made a flammable material. Why would you make a flammable rope? Maurice, what do you have to say? Hello there. What are you investigating? Mm. Oh. This location has also been cordoned off because the Magic Troop members are currently considered prime suspects. The investigation team is still collecting evidence. The seats were all I don't know how advanced, ropes work. Okay. So we were able to deduce I'm not a rope the guy. identity by checking the guest list. Could you tell us who she is? Sure. It's not like this is confidential information. We will publish it later anyway when we petition the public to help us find the missing person. Her name is Halsey. She's a painter Halsey? from Fontaine who's made a bit of a name for herself. Oh my god, I love her. She's a great singer. Apparently, Siren. she wasn't a regular at the Opera House, but she'd been Where feeling some pressure you? with her work lately, and which made her decide to come sorry. see the magic show. Cannot sleep. I cannot dream tonight. The magic troop members all claim Have you seen that video of Halsey have singing into her in the mall? Connections. It seems it's that she so had no cringe. personal grievances or conflicts of interest with the suspects. Simply put, she wasn't related to the magic troop at all. Mm, which okay. matches the features of the previous serial disappearances. Bro, they put Halsey and Genshin? Dude, for real. Potato chipe. Hmm. Were the victims of previous cases also chosen at random? That's how it seems to us. <laughs> I can't in any case. keep her. Apart I can't the fact take this seriously with her with that mustache. The same age range. 
There really weren't any other connections between them. Okay. <sighs> Thanks for letting us know all this. No need to be so formal. If you do happen to see the missing girl, please be sure to contact us. Bet. It is of utmost importance that we get to the bottom of these disappearances. All right. Information about the missing lady's identity. Halsey, a famous singer who sang at a mall once, is the missing person. She's a famous painter now uh, and came to watch the magic show in order to take a break from her own creative work, singing, which she's not that great at. She isn't known to tangle, quarrel. Okay, bet. Interesting. Imagine her coming out and starting to sing, dude. That'd be funny. Here, Quentin. Talk to me. The investigation team has some new findings. Turns out there's an issue with the random numbers. That's spoiled, Dora, but you got all. a book with the evidence on your quest inventory. Thank you for letting See, me know. See, I told you. What if the machine picked some big guy's seat? You think the murderer would have still made his move then? Sorry to interrupt, but we're helping Linny and Lynette with their side of the investigation. Have you pulled for Lenny yet? What yep, I pulled Lenny yesterday with the bow. There's something and I got C6 Lynette. You're trying to help them? <laughs> That'll be a tall order. Yeah. Lenny used the machine to pick a random member of the audience during his performance, right? The lucky girl that later disappeared. Well, we thought there might be a serious problem with the machine, so we had it taken away for further inspection. It turns out so you're tampering with evidence. Wasn't random mm, at all. You can be jailed for that. Picks that Quentin. Same number every time. I'm sure you already know that you have to make a reservation in advance to get a seat, regardless of whether it's a trial or some performance. True. In other words, Linny knew who would be sitting where from the very beginning. Hmm. That much check okay, that's out. not really looking good for Linny. Our seats for us too. Let you see why I was saying it'd be tough to make a case for Linny. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. Hmm. Even though it's bad for huh? Linny's case. Had better write it down. All right, random number selector. That's not really random. Got it. All right, let's investigate this box. It looks like an ordinary box, but Lenny somehow moved instantly from the stage to being inside of it. How did he do it? Hey, Molly, uh, they're not answering Lenny's questions right now. You got to talk cards. to me. It seems he'll have a lot of explaining to do. I think someone will be assigned to monitor us later, but that's all right. Okay. I see that you're investigating the area. Well, it just so happens that I'm interested too. If you find any Why are you interested? Leads, you can see uh, child vision in uh, your inventory. Oh, that's kind of sick. We don't have too many thoughts yet. <laughs> then why don't I tell you my hypothesis first? The way I see it. And I'll start it with that loud thud. It did. Yeah, remember the loud thud? The thud? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That happened during the countdown? Yes, exactly. It wasn't terribly loud, but I suspect that most people heard it. It's just that everyone was awaiting the results of Linny's trick with bated breath. Mm -hmm. So no one paid it much mind. But now that the incident has happened, the thud has become an I like how clue. we have to like search for clues and stuff. This is a cool like game mechanic. Hmm. That I'm of the opinion that it may have been the sound of Linny's accomplice. Lynette, perhaps. Jumping atop the water tank or something like that. Why would they try to, okay, you have to think about it this way. Why would they try to murder someone in their show in front of the uh, the Chief Justice and Hydro Archon? Why would you try to murder someone in front of them? And when the pyrotechnics went off, she cut the rope, sending the water tank crashing down. And out of everyone, why would you kill Cowl? I'm sorry, rest in peace, but why Cowl? You know? Wasn't the noise we heard too loud for that? Perhaps the balance wasn't right, leading to a particularly mm. rough landing. Then wouldn't the water tank have started to swing a bit in that case? Oh, that's true. Hmm. I suppose I must reconsider. You do that. That does remind Paimon, though. What was with that sound? Strange sound during the magic show. Alright, that was two. Oh, thank you. Hey, you. <laughs> Yes, both of you. Over here. <gasps> I've been keeping an eye on you for a while now. Oh, what's up, baby girl? How you huh? be? You mean us? That's right. If I'm not mistaken, Taylor Swift. You're also among those who wish to cut down the thorns and pursue the truth. No. And by the looks of it, you're not from Fontaine. Well, you're right on the mark about that one. But who are you? 
Oh my gosh, she is beautiful. <laughs> have you never heard of the Spina di Rosula? I can't say I have. From mediating disputes and providing protection to solving conundrums, you name it, Spina di Rosula does it. That's the name of her organization, right? And I, Navia, Navia. have the honor of being its renowned president. She do be pretty. Though so those who play by our rules call me boss. I'm Silver, her attendant. Pleased to meet you. Hello. And I'm Melus. Demoiselle's various daily needs and affairs are under my purview. <laughs> I did not expect that voice from him. And I'm Melus. Demoiselle's various daily needs and affairs are under my purview. Huh? Did not expect that voice from that dude. It kind of gives me Team Rocket vibes, yeah. <clears throat> well, I am the second generation president. Hmm. Malus and the others are still used to my. He's old. Forgive him. Title. You're right. You're right. Right. He was bored of retirement, so he he came out of retirement just to do this. My apologies, Demoiselle. Should you prefer, boss, I will endeavor to use that instead. No, no need. You'll forget you in two minutes anyway. Boss. You old man. Just Navia is fine. Okay. If you say so. Not the remembers of Spina di Rasula anyway. <laughs> All merely trifling details. Hmm. Never mind. I feel like his voice fits now, the NPC model so well. It does, honestly. It does. So you want to investigate as well? That's right. I've always kept an eye on the serial disappearance cases. Hmm. My interest stems from Cryptic the Cryptic cows, welcome in our warrior today. How's your day going? Judging from the look of things, I find Linny an unlikely mastermind. Really? We think so too! That's why we're looking for clues now! But how did you come to that conclusion? Intuition, naturally. My unparalleled intuition. Your intuition is how you came to that? Okay. Farina sure was quick to point the finger at Linny without any decisive evidence whatsoever. Wasn't she? But that's not uncommon for her. True. If you remember, the justice had to interrupt her and ask if she was pressing charges just to keep her from getting carried away. He is like, he controls everything probably. Anyway, a trial begins the moment someone levels charges. And, of course, there was no way Farina was going to back down in It that took me situation. six hours to finish both acts. You will love this. It's so good. I'm excited. I'm only doing act one today. Sounds more like you just don't trust the Hydro Archon. I feel like we're not far at all on this. Well, what's your opinion? I must admit that she can be interesting at times. But liking her doesn't mean that I'll blindly agree with her. Uh, well, if you put it like that. Right. I've answered your question. He's giving me Yaimiko from Inazuma. Time you answer mine. Wait a minute. Did that answer count? Well, I say it does. But don't worry. I love her hat. You won't hear any pointless questions from me. Honestly, the, the Fontaine characters have the best drip in the game. In your opinion, say do you think it's right to treat a trial like it's an opera? No. Um. Well, Not always. Why would that be? Doing so makes it easy for the truth to fall by the wayside. <laughs> See, Silver and Malus, I told you they'd be different. Most astute of you, Demoiselle. I too Demoiselle. think that the traveler's response was most excellent. I love his voice, dude. It's so different. No matter how wonderful the script or how fervent the audience's expectations may be. The trials that go on stage okay. here must be based. So are you only going to stream for this quest or both? Uh, tonight, I'm only doing part one. Tuesday, part two. And if that can be done, boss, then... All right, that's quite enough, Malus. Anyway, I've been doing doubles, I'm man. I'm tired. Answer. You pass with flying colors. Now, I need to make some preparations, following which our joint investigation shall commence. You two Did shall you be my the quest? assistants. Wait, since when did we become assistants? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, so well, in total, it seems that this whole sure. quest is like six or hours long, right? If you like, I'm really not that fussy. Hm. That's more like it. I think you're missing the point, Paimon. Far be it from me to brag, but I believe that Demoiselle's intuition will be instrumental in uncovering the truth. You wish to save a friend from false accusations. That's really and cool. And we wish to unravel the disappearances. In this sense, our goals are aligned. They probably saw my ads and they were like, who's this guy? These you ads are cringe. Doctor, aren't you, mister? And what about you over there? What do you think? You seem like you've got something on your mind. Bro's just chilling. I have nothing to add. Oh, alrighty <laughs> All right. 
We'll be making some preparations first. Uh, just be sure to let us know if they start revealing Lenny's tricks. <laughs> Thanks. I got you, Navia. I love Navia. I think I'm in love with her. Too soon? I know, but, well... Tristane. Hello there, my little pony. Sorry, but no one can freely enter or exit the Opera House at the moment. If you wish Thor, to do you know about the secret vase luxurious chest in Inazuma? I believe I do. I don't know why, but I feel like Nouvellet is more of an Archon than Fosalor. Like, he's an old Archon and she's still a baby. I get that same vibe, too, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, no, we're not leaving. We're she was that, is that Doro? And I said, I know who he is. And she was like, what, really? And I said, yeah, I'm friends with him. That blew her mind. Did it really? That's amazing, Cryptic. I downloaded Twitch just to watch you. Did you really, Ramen Noodle? I appreciate that. Chief Justice gave the order, everyone coming in or out must undergo a strict inspection. Why do they look like that? They kind of freak me out, dude, not gonna lie. So, the missing girl couldn't have left from here. At least, not from that point on. Um, what about during the show? My eyes at you, my baby. I doubt there was much opportunity then, either. How can you be so sure, hmm? Well, because I was in charge of security near the entrance at that time. I couldn't see Linny's performance from here, which was quite a shame. Just my luck. But still, I did not abandon my post. And I stayed put no matter how loud the applause was. If someone had so much as even approached the door, I would have noticed it, let alone if they had tried to leave. True. We Melazines are good at that sort of thing, you know. So, it's safe to say the girl couldn't have left through here. True. All right, thank you for your help. This will be useful info. Thank you. How did they get out? So that's the question. We Ask how Lenny does it on his end. Okay, bet. Let's go talk to Lenny. Like, like a giant um, nosine. Just so you're aware, I will be monitoring your actions and making notes as necessary. Okay. Very good. Thanks for being so agreeable. I'd pull a rose out of my hat oh, as a hell gift yeah. for you if I could. Are you going to do Lenny's story quest? Probably next week. You may spare the pleasantries. I'm just doing my job. But yes, I will be doing Lenny's quest as well. You've arrived. Uh, who's this? My new girlfriend, Navia. Me? <laughs> I'm Spina de Rosula's guardian angel. If you've got a problem, I've got the firepower. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little carried away there. Call me Navia. I'm a partner of theirs and will be helping investigate this whole situation. I love her outfit, dude. And these are my companions. Would you mind if they join as well? Hmm? Find my me. Oh, Everyone say hi helpers. to Audie. I would be most grateful. Well, let's just say we're tagging along. It's not every day you get to see the secrets behind magic performed on such a large scale. <laughs> I appreciate. I haven't gone on Genshin interest. yet. Who Come are on me. the wishes right we'll now? It's Yolan and Linny, a new character. Because now we have 4.0. Huh? Below stage. Yes, a world of secrets is hidden beneath this magic box. That makes prepared sense. Prepared specifically for this switcheroo trick. But before I reveal everything, you should have a look first. Notice anything strange here? There is a crushed man. Oh, this box? I don't know. I'm not trying to be dramatic. Remembering the details of a trick will help Kohai, you understand welcome in, how are you? Used to perform this is my first time watching easily. your stream. I came from YouTube. Welcome in, Azuzi, from YouTube. Huh. Hope you're having a great night. Weren't there balloons and other decorations here? Where did all that go? You've got Lenny's bow, y'all. Let's go. Congratulations on that. Ah, good Do you notice anything weird that about said, this? Well, there's a dead body. Accept the uh, that. Accept that. What else? <laughs> what else do you not notice? The back of the door isn't the same. Uh, the back? You mean the inside of the door? What's different about it? Paimon didn't notice anything. <laughs> Very good indeed. I thought you might not be able to catch that, given that you were sitting in the first row. The back of this door was patterned. Those patterns are now gone, replaced by a smooth wooden board. Yes, I noticed that. Two? So, if you put two and two together, what do you get? Another box. A box inside this one. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's go. I'll tell you how it works as we head down. All right. What the hell is Paimon wearing? Don't ask. Oh, I don't know. So there was a passageway under the magic box. That's what I thought. I was like, I wonder if the way they do the switcheroo is just like a giant tunnel underneath and you just got to run really quickly to do the switcheroo. 
And his passion has linked the two boxes together. <laughs> I knew you'd figure out most of it as I soon was as you right, saw this dude. Place. The two magic boxes are positioned right above the two entrances hmm. of the tunnel. See this flat. I'm currently saying wishes for Nouvellet. Nice. The oh. box with the lucky audience member in it would be shuttled over to the other side using the trolley. I see. This trolley can raise and lower and even rotate, ensuring that the box will face in the right direction. Huh. I see. So that's the purpose of the box inside another box. Precisely. Mm. The inner box would descend after the audience member was put inside and be moved along the trolley, all while the outer box would remain on stage as if nothing had ever changed. So that's how you did it! Once the box was lowered, the trolley would store some energy through this device here, with which it would this complete is so, the rest I of the I was steps. believing in magic and now it's all fake. The audience member would only be able to feel some slight movements in the dark, and by the time she walked out, she would already be back on stage. Then what about your side of the trick? Right! You were talking that whole time, and you even came out for a moment near the end! Yeah, well, like five seconds to spare. Ah, uh, yes. A phonograph operated by Lynette was used to achieve that effect. My assistant and I had already scripted our conversation beforehand. Mm -hmm. When the countdown began, I had already gone to the opposite box via a tunnel using that ladder. And what about Lynette? Where was she? I was in the mezzanine space in the back of the box. Oh, interesting. Interesting. That's how we were able to I think she's female, the right? lines with the assistant. And by the way, I was the one who walked out of the box at the end. You guys are telling me that magic isn't real? I mean, we are twins. All it mm. takes is a change of clothes and no one can tell You inspired me to who. do YouTube videos? Yeah, let's go. It's awesome. And that's my favorite part of this trick. Only Lynette and I can perform it. I see. So that's how it all worked. Wow. Every detail you revealed was more amazing than the last. I can tell a lot of thought was put into this. Lynette would briefly walk out of the box and then go back in, jumping into the tunnel and escaping before the box on the trolley could finish ascending. And then I walk out of the other box in the audience area, and the trick would be complete. The operative word mm. here being would. But as you saw, Cal was in the box, not our audience member. She, on the other hand, mysteriously uh, vanished. Let's see we really don't know how that happened. If not for that interlude, this would have been an astonishing trick. I probably never would have figured out how you pulled it off. Dude, if it wasn't for the double homicide, like, this this show would have been a banger. Like, not gonna lie, dude. And yet, to think that someone was able to use this magic trick to commit a crime. Could we have a look around? They use magic for evil, Navia. That's what happened. This is the scene of the crime. So Lenny and Lynette are not permitted to stay here. I'll escort them back up. Yes, of course. No need right, to be we'll so around. strict now. I won't disappear into thin air, you know. Thanks, everyone. We're counting on you. I got you. The magic trick. There we go. Box structure. Sick. Search the underground passage for clues. Let's do it. Examine the ladder. A ladder is required in order to return to the magic box above. Easy. This should be the control device for the trolley. It seems to be able to operate automatically. Okay. Huh. What's this? A grappling hook? Looks like a hook tied to the end of a rope. Huh? Lenny didn't mention this earlier. Here. Perhaps it was a prop for a different trick. Maybe. But why would it have been left here? Whatever it is. Let's make a note of it first. Interesting. Okay. Dropped hook rope. A rope that has fallen to the ground. Okay. Maybe a thief used it to get in here. What's this? Investigate the vase. Uh, the floor is wet. Please be careful not to slip. Thank you, Marilus. Speaking of which, why would there be water here? Is it all just all the answers going to be like, well, maybe it was for a trick? Oh! Filled with water. Huh. The this is sus. I'm really farming level 90 Lenny as you stream. Yo, let's go. I'm going to be doing that tomorrow, probably uh, off stream. I just need to get more flowers be. and farm the boss more. Moves along tracks from oh, start and to I can get his talent materials tomorrow and stuff, too. Hmm. 
let's note this down too and think about the it crazy later. thing about Linny though is that like he's actually decently strong with the right team even at like level 50 or whatever with level one talents who's clothes are those oh these are the clothes that the lady chosen from the audience was wearing right is she just running around naked now her clothes are here Dora Vin, have a no great rest of your fair. night okay right and do you really need to do that if you're kidnapping them? Ugh. This is so confusing. <laughs> Wait, did her glasses her glasses change? <laughs> Hold on, I gotta take a screenshot of that one. I love that. Young ladies' clothes. Okay. She's just running around butt ass naked somewhere. High precision is required to complete the magic show, and tracks are perfect for making the trolley stay on its designated course. All kinds of props and costumes are haphazardly stuffed inside. What about this, though? What is this place? Looks like a vent. It seems someone could fit through here. Huh. Could this have been the suspect's escape route? Hmm, alone, perhaps. But if they had to pull another person Imp with them, <laughs> They vented, the chat. They vented. But there are no other ways Among us. Other than that, that um, they go through the magic boxes. Oh, you're right. Let Paima write that down. Oh yeah, you do that. Sus among us. Vented. Return to the surface. Just about done investigating down here. Okay. Yes. Let's head back up. All right. I think we so, have all the clues we've now. We've the state of the crime scene. Let's find a place to sort out our findings once Malus returns. Got it. It seems to me that there are several things that don't add up here. I'm back. Apologies for the wait, demoiselle. Where were you at? So, what did the guards say? Did the criminal escape through the vent? They believe the odds of that are very low, since the vent leads to the opera house's basement. But one guard said that Pinky Toe Taint 420 vented. It was crazy. The guards have checked the area carefully. Sus. No one honest. left through the basement during the performance or after the incident. And no one was found hiding there. So the tunnels become like a secret chamber then. Hmm. You know, like the kind you usually see in novels. It would seem so. Hmm. The plot thickens. Halsey's disappearance and Cowell's death are both quite inexplicable. No wonder Farina was so confident in her How do I do my watch time? Do exclamation point watch time. Points toward Linny and Is that Lynette. actually your voice, Doro? Yeah, I voiced him. I wasn't allowed to tell you guys, but don't tell Hoyo. That's me, isn't it crazy? I know. In other words, the charges are very likely to be upheld unless we make some considerable progress. Charges progress. Snack of us, thank you so, so much for the 23 months. The <laughs> right. Sorry. This is how a trial goes in the opera house. During the proceedings, that's totally the not my Justice username on the Among Us, by the way. We'll hear statements from both sides. That's right. This is how I'll be on a great day so far. The statements from both sides. The defenses from attorneys, witness testimonies, and even the audience's emotions will all be projected on the oratrice. To put okay. it simply, it's as if the oratrice has its own will and is a judge in its own right. That's kind of scary, not gonna lie. This also precludes any kind of favoritism on the part of the Chief Justice. And not that this has ever happened anyway. Yo, Roxy, you have speaking. 320 hours? Final decision. Dang, I appreciate this that. Thank you so much. You are insane. The as a reference. Then, finally, the oratrice will she be consulted eyes. by officials. The result it returns is the will of justice itself. Huh? So that machine is the one that actually decides? I'm on button of a leg called the shots. Nope, they use AI here. In practice, there is very little difference. Both have always come to the same judgment, which is why people have great faith in the Chief Justice. Ah, yes, the guards okay. also asked me to convey that none of us will be allowed to leave this place before the trial. So we have to sleep here? Because we've chosen to act as the twins' proxies. That makes us persons related to the case. Oh my god. <sighs> They're concerned that we might be colluding with outside parties. Or that we might find outside help to disrupt the case. And even if that were not so, it could prove problematic if we happen to spread key information about the case ahead of time. True. I'm ready to break out at any time. <laughs> Silver's like, I'm ready to get the f out of here whenever we need to. Whoa, whoa, there's no need for that. Hyman thinks they have a point. 
You can't keep this ponytail in one spot. Of course. I just hope you don't mind the lack of options. I'm afraid that catering to all tastes is not in the car. I hope they keep doing the objection. Me, my hope so, dude. Of balanced nutrition. Now that's the time to be picky. In that case, let's just sort out our findings together here. Pity. I was hoping to take you to try some of Fontaine's famous desserts too. She wanted to take me on a date. Navia, we can do that after the trial. I mean, what better way to properly think through our findings than over some tea and sweets? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Breaking out suddenly doesn't seem like such a bad idea after all. Paimon? Oh, just kidding, just kidding. Paimon will still do her best, even if there are no snacks. Hmm? What do you mean, no snacks? Of course we'll have snacks. Girl, you're awesome. the only snack I need, up. is what I said to Audie. Huh? And that's why she yeah. dates me now. Man, believe me, Fontaine's very dark. I do not burn, but you need to be shocked at the end of this quest. I think that Hoya was depressed. They were making Fontaine. I just finished the quest, and I feel I have not played until after five years. I'm excited. I'm excited. I hear this is a really good quest. Understood, demoiselle. I'm glad Everyone, that the quests are getting better and better. Me. All right. Wait. Draw the Riz Lord? I am the Riz Lord, dude. Yes, I must be prepared to meet the demoiselle's baking needs whenever the fancy strikes her. I have eggs, sugar, and almonds at the ready. <laughs> I have eggs, sugar, and nuts in my pants right now. <laughs> Good work, you two. Then I'll get to it. Please sit tight for a moment. You'll get to taste my awesome snacks soon enough. These three are quite the interesting group. They are very interesting, but I like them. I want to be friends with them. Navia methodically handles the ingredients and pulls fresh macarons out of her what? Oh, and Paimon thought it smelled good oh, while dude, it was macarons would slap her. Oh, it's even better now. Paimon can't stop drooling. Dude, those are burger-sized macarons. Oh my god. From the way you had these two guys carrying all that stuff around, Paimon thought you'd have them do more I have never wanted podcast. something so badly in my life right now. It's crazy. I'm already hungry. Whites, grinding almonds, everything. I was applauding. <laughs> Silver's my favorite. I was applauding. Yes. I just did. And I was giving encouraging smiles. Where am I? Well, that's not quite what Paimon meant, but okay. I, All right, old thinking. man, go to sleep. Aren't you worried about getting your fancy dress? Did you have dinner? I did have half a sandwich. Like I have another half that I will probably... I was going to save the other half for tomorrow. I'm going to eat it tonight. Well, I don't think it's carved in stone anywhere that fancy ladies can only read books, sip tea, ride horses, and play the piano. I just really enjoy making snacks. Don't underestimate beating egg weights, by the way. It's a real arm workout. You also need to beat them to just the right consistency, or your macarons will crack. Girl, I'm not going to I'm not going to even say the joke. I'm not going to say. Anyway, give these a try. Fresh out of the oven. There's 3 for each of us. Only 3? You fat ass. Oh my, only three, only three burger sized macarons. Well, eating too many sweet treats might send all that sugar to your head. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to think clearly about the case on a sugar rush, would you? You got me on a sugar rush. Tea Navi. is ready to be served as well. This is Demoiselle's favorite. Strong black tea with a floral fragrance that clears the mind and lifts the spirit. Thank you. No need for concern. I'm merely doing as I should. This is a very interesting group. They're cool, though. All right, then. <clears throat> Down to business. As Paimon mentioned previously, the tunnel seems to be something of a secret chamber. Yes. However, we can assume that Linny and Lynette were not alone within it. Some criminal also occupied its sealed confines. Mm -hmm. The magician twins could have committed the crimes, of course, but they lack any logical motive. That's what I'm saying. Logically speaking, like, they wouldn't do it. Exactly. Why would they do such a thing right when everyone was watching? That's what I said earlier. Exactly. They, they wouldn't. It makes no sense. We're left with two other people, the missing girl and the deceased. The flower vase and the thud we heard during the performance could indicate some altercation between Halsey and the criminal in the tunnel. Oh, yeah. Resulting in the shattering of the vase, the discarding of her clothes, and her abduction. Perhaps the criminal thought that since she was chosen from the crowd, she would be too easy to identify if she was still wearing the same clothes. So she naked? Paimon thinks 
that makes sense, but the real trouble Those is aren't uh, macarons. Those are the colored uh, Krabby Patties. Yo, are, they have the pretty patties from SpongeBob. That's funny. There's no evidence that this is their person even exists. True. None of the clues the pretty we found patties. thus far support yeah. the existence of this oh third God. person. Think of the hydrate. I appreciate you. But the only people left to consider are both technically victims. Whether it's the mm -hmm. missing girl, Halsey, or poor Cowl. Huh. Could Halsey have secretly made modifications to the magic props in order to murder Cowl before making her escape? But she had no way of knowing how the magic trick worked. Uh, that's right. And even if she had tampered with the setup, she would need to understand the entire trick to pull it off. Yeah. Nor does she have any motive. The guards said that she has never had any dealings with the magic troops' members. <sighs> Were we not thorough enough in our search? From the sound of things, this is turning into an impossible case. Your macarons are amazing, though, Navia. They smell great. They're nice and crisp and super sweet. <laughs> they are my specialty, after all. Get you a girl and or I boy. See already had five of them. That can bake. <laughs> Trust me, it's worth it. What? Five? The uh, Navia oh, is beautiful. Please don't worry about it. At my age, a few less sweets might actually be a good thing. I have diabetes. Uh, no, no. Being greedy is one thing, but Paimon knows how to count. Besides, Paimon knows that if she ate too many, then others wouldn't have enough. It's fine if you ate them. You ate them. Wait. Just eat them. Even you don't believe Paimon? No. Does Paimon poop? <laughs> All right, we get it. Well, I or just be the guy or girl that can bake, so you can bake whenever. See, I don't know how to bake. I wish I knew how to bake. What? You guys have never asked yourselves if people in Genshin Impact poop? I have never seen a toilet in this game, and y'all are telling me you've never thought about that. You guys are liars. You are a liar. I know you've thought about it. Making sure everyone gets three macarons, of course. Oh, there's really no need to do that. Exactly. Navi. We don't want to trouble you. As you wish, demoiselle. I shall eat them. And I have the egg, sugar, and almonds. Yep, thanks, Silver. Uh, Said that earlier. Well, this really is your hobby, huh? Navia does a second round of baking over the two missing. Uh, however, the discussion that follows does not yield much progress. Well, that's it for snack time. I'm going to have another look around the area. You have fun. I don't fun. know what we're looking for yet, but we've still got some time. As attorney, also, there's tons I of chicken dishes, but no chicken. Sus. Again. Never thought about that. It would be Never thought about that. On stage there's right milk, the but no cows. This is too big brain right now. All right. Thanks for your help and for the snacks. Oh, it was nothing. A small task for the Spina di Rosula. Silver, wow. Maloose. It's time to go. They eat ducks or birds. Maybe chickens went extinct and I'll now they call them fowl. Ooh, could be. But can you explain the milk? Where do they get the milk? They don't have cows. This is all. Well, they don't have goats either. It's almond milk. Oh, right. so they're milk and almonds. Don't say it's Hillichurl milk. Ew. Stop. Stop. Okay, we're done with the milk. Conversation chat, okay? They're not milking hillichurls in this game. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I do have some thoughts. Good plan. Impossible things don't just happen. We'll get to the truth Y'all are weird. Another. Uh, just relax. Even if everyone else suspects Lenny and Lynette, at least we will be supporting them from the stands. Besides, True. I doubt Farina understands any more about what happens than we do. Thanks, She's just Navia. making it up as she goes, well, probably. We'll be going then. Best of luck to you. Thank you, Navia. Can't wait to watch this back on YouTube for the milk content. <laughs> it's just on my thumbnails, Lisa, and just like gigantic milkers, ah, dude. Finally, you're back. This well, quest was amazing. What does Lisa have to do with this? To be honest, you might be disappointed. Lenny, I think you're a murderer. No, no. We're already very grateful that you were willing to help. Well, now, don't you all look disappointed? Don't tell me that your investigation came up empty-handed. It didn't, Verena. How would you mind your own f***ing business? That 
it was to be expected, of course. The guilty can never produce proof of their innocence. But don't let that stop you. I shall be terribly disappointed should you, my most anticipated foe, concede so easily. Yeah, just you wait, you B-I-T-H. Since both parties are present, I declare that the trial regarding the magic show incident is now in session. Objection. Too soon, sorry. Firstly, in order for the audience I to understand the causes once. and results of the incident, could we please have Mr. Linney explain the trick? Yes, of course. I will explain while Lynette demonstrates on stage. And murders All someone else for display purposes. Linny clearly reveals the details of the magic trick. Everyone in the audience is stunned. Thank you, Mr. Linny. In that case, I take your statement to be that you ran to and remained hidden within the magic box in the audience stands once the trick began and thus could not have committed the crime. Is this correct? Objection. No, I mean, yes, that is correct. Yes, that's correct, Your Honor. In that I'm case, not really a good I lawyer. call upon the prosecution. Lady Farina, do you wish to refute his statement in any way? Why, of course I do. Allow me to take the first shot and break this case wide open. Mr. Linney is clearly lying. She did the thing! Objection. There is no way you could have been in the box the whole time if you were to abduct Halsey and murder Cowell. In fact, I'd say you were hardly in that tunnel at all. Or, 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 he was in the box for so long that he could not have committed the murder. Did you think about that? No, you didn't. Objection, Your Honor. That is simply your hypothesis based on the presumption that I'm guilty. Exactly. Oh, is that so? And if I may ask, what did you hear while you were inside your box? Your really annoying voice because you wouldn't shut up. The roaring countdown of the crowd, of course. That's how I kept track of the time and built anticipation for the finale. And you didn't hear anything else at all? Nothing that might leave an impression of any kind? No, nothing. No. I see. But when the count reached 30 seconds or so, there was a thud. One so loud that I believe practically everyone heard it. Huh? Hey, hang on. Something's not right here. Objection. How could Lydia not know about that sound? Yeah, I'm sure he could have heard a noise that loud from inside the box. I was right by the box, and I definitely heard the thud. Uh-oh. Look at those scales. They probably That's represent the oratress's stance on the trial. <laughs> Gentlemen, allow me to use the words of the magician himself. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. Indeed, it seems his alibi can also collapse in the blink of an eye. Hmm. <laughs> of course, I have. I really like the way they put. They made this quest. Smash your alibi. Confidence All the zoom ins and stuff. And my foundations are rock solid. Tell me. Aren't you and Lynette actually from the House of the Hearth? The House of the Hearth? The House of the Hearth? They're Fatui? I don't like Fatui. No wonder they did something like this. Oh God, this is not good. Why didn't you tell me, Lenny? So the serial disappearances were the Fatui's doing. <laughs> now it all makes sense. I've got a feeling that what happened on stage probably wasn't just an accident. Oh God. This is not good, chat. This is not That's good. That's irrelevant. Our identities have nothing to do with what happened. Indeed. Then Ooh, that was a good transition. you could tell us everything that happened during that one minute. Your first priority is to prove yourself innocent after all. I'm sure there is little that needs to be kept secret now. Unless your script already has holes in it. Hmm. <sighs> The Outlander is speechless. My, oh my, don't oh, this is cool. flabbergasted. <laughs> now comes the infighting in Discord, I suppose. This was almost This is easy. cool. Oh, good thing I made all those preparations. Seems the all-nighter I pulled last night is really paying off. Is that why you got those bags under you, uh, your eyes, huh? Hey, Linny. 
Linny and Lynette are Fatui. Order! Order! Mr. Linny, allow me to reestablish the facts. Lady Farina has raised two points. First, when the thud was heard in the Opera House, you were neither in the box nor the tunnel. Second, you and Ms. Lynette are both members of the House of the Hearth. Are these claims true? <sighs> Answer truthfully, Linny. There's no doubt about the magician's ability to con others. Given how Linny has concealed his identity, this could have all been set up beforehand. Plus, Child is here in Fontaine along with other house operatives. There must be some scheme at work here. I've been a victim of such schemes before, and now... Please answer my question, Mr. Linny. Ooh. I'm sorry. Look at his face. Oh, you can't see his face, but he looks so sad. Yes, they're true, Your Honor. I knew it. Well, that's it. We might as well move on to the sentencing already. <laughs> this girl's like, well, we might as well just uh, sentence them to death or something. What should we do now? Objection. Granted. Yes. My client has withheld some key information. In that case, what is your request? I request a brief recess. There are things that must be discussed. Is that really necessary? Yes, shut up. They're already as good as guilty. No one asked you. The defendant deceived their own attorneys. What is there left to discuss? Shut up. No one asked you either, okay? Order. Order, I say. Yeah, listen to him. Order. Your request is reasonable, and we shall adjourn. Thank you. This trial will reconvene in one hour. <laughs> so you would stick to Mr. Linney's defense even after knowing what you do now? I'm his lawyer. You certainly have more professionalism than I thought. Unlike you. In that case, my dear audience, let's allow the joy of victory to steep for a little while longer. <laughs> oh, dude, she pisses me off. While court is adjourned, you meet with Linny and Lynette's backstage in the opera house. Hey, why didn't you tell me? Well, this is awkward. You think? I didn't think the Hydro Archon would dig all that up. I'm sorry, Traveler and Paimon. Yeah, sorry. Ugh. Paimon just knew mm. where to start. We trusted you two. We based our entire reasoning on the assumption that you weren't bad guys. Okay, well, Paimon, hold on. It doesn't, just because they're of the House of Hearth, that doesn't mean they are bad guys, you know what I'm saying? You know, you can't make assumptions like that. Gail, welcome. How are you? I'm very sorry. I know you're angry, and reasonably so, but please, let me explain. Please. I know you've clashed with the Vatui several times before. I wouldn't be surprised if just hearing the word is enough to make you upset. But our organization is very, very large, and the Harbingers have very different personalities and goals. Okay. Right now, we want to save people, as many as we can. Maybe the Harbingers aren't as bad. Maybe the Fatui aren't actually the bad guys. That's right. I'm sure we're on the same page when it comes to this nation and the disaster that its people might face. I knew if it weren't for our respective identities, we could become good friends. That's why I didn't wish to flat out lie to you, but chose to hide some details instead. A little white lie, is that what it was? The truth is very important, but being completely transparent about everything would see us spending more effort than we need to. But how uh, can we know this isn't all just another lie? Right. So, you be the judge. Heck, if I were you, I fear that I'd even struggle to trust me at this point. You met a Fatus who works as a magician, a trickster by trade. All by coincidence, too. But still, I'm asking you to trust me. What do, what do we think, chat? No do we trust them? At least... Do we trust them? I trust them. Sorry. Please forgive us. Well, you both say that, but... Where did you actually go while the trick was being performed? Right. Let's hear your answer first. I trust them. And no lies now. Of course. I'll answer any question you ask. We've been trying to find out how the Oratrice operates. Mm -hmm. We want to know why it has a consciousness. Why can it deliver sentences accurately? During our investigations, we learned that the machine's core is beneath it. From okay. that moment on, Lynette and I have been designing this box swap trick with the objective of getting close to the core. Oh, okay. Is that why you needed a whole minute? That's right. 
In truth, the, the trick was just a ruse. 75 seconds to count down from 60, while I would only need 15 to get to the opposite box. So, after jumping into the tunnel, I accessed the Opera House basement via the vent and went to investigate the room in which the core is stored. I see. That air vent was created during the construction of the tunnel specifically to execute this step. And what did you find? Well, nothing. As soon as I reached that room and was about to investigate, I heard someone's voice. Which should have been impossible, of course. I was quite certain that I was the only one in the room. That voice seemed to recognize me and tried to speak to me. Okay. I chose to err on the side of caution and retreated the way I came. On the way back, I saw the broken vase and the clothes on the ground. But the countdown was almost finished, so there wasn't time to give it any thought. Okay. After that, the homicide occurred just as you saw. Well, that explains why you didn't hear the thud. But why do you want to understand how the Oratress operates? Because of that prophecy I told you about, of course. We must know all we can about this nation's secrets in order to deal with that prophesized crisis. That's the only way we can save everyone. Okay. So, there you have it. The whole truth. I swear, I didn't hide anything from you this time. I believe you. It was never my wish to proceed under this cloud of mistrust either. But, like I said earlier, you can be the judge. If you want to leave because you don't trust the Fatui, there's nothing I can do to stop you. Well, Traveler, you decide. Paimon will follow your Yeah, yeah it's kind of choose. weird to hear the word homicide in Genshin. I, I agree. I believe in the facts. I will defend you from these charges. Okay. Thank you. Don't worry. I'm your ride or die, dude. Thanks for giving us a chance. The You're welcome. The problem Luna. is that the scales are tipped pretty badly against you two. If we want to refute the Hydro Archon's accusations, we're going to need a seriously watertight defense. Actually, we already have the key evidence we need. Huh? The adjournment is almost over. Let's go back. Mm. We got something up oh, our sleeve, I chat. I think she gets what you mean. Linny's statement. The voice in the Oratress Core Chamber. Let's go do it. Yeah, I'm liking that this game is getting darker and darker. Like, dude, this story quest so far is already freaking awesome. Bro, do you think that as they see how more grown up a fan base is, they are Both taking more adult rest of those stories? I think so, and I Let hope so. The trial. You know what I'm saying? Dora, do you hate the Archon? Um, I don't hate them, but they're kind of obnoxious. When last and they kind on, of piss me off. Mr. Linney acknowledged the new evidence presented by Lady Farina as fact. Therefore, Lady Farina may continue stating her reconstruction of the events. All right, Farina, go for it. Ugh, that took long enough. Now then, if everyone would lend me their attention at this stage, let's revisit that scene from Linny's perspective. Objection. <laughs> I love that. Oh, what is this? Based on the opposition's account of events, you can identify loopholes in their statement. Use evidence and clues obtained during the investigation to refute. Okay, got you. We gotta tip the uh This As is the sick. Countdown began, he entered the tunnel. Objection. When the flatbed trolley passed, he opened the box and got into an altercation with Halsey. He did not realize that this sound could be heard by everyone in the opera house, which is why he claimed earlier that he could not hear the sound. Objection. Finally, he used the boss to knock her out before making her change clothes to prevent others from recognizing her. At this time, Cowell Yeah, I like the little sketches. Panel, having heard that strange noise and caught Linny red-handed. Objection. So Linny proceeded to knock him out too before stuffing him into that box. Afterward, Linny passed the unconscious Halsey to his accomplice through the magic box in the audience stands before operating the devices such that Cowell's death would be ruled an accident. And there you have it. That's the truth behind what happened. Your, li your little truth is all assumption, by the way. Does the defendant's side have any objections to Lady Farina's description of the events? Yes, literally everything. The key to refuting Lady Farina is the order of events. What Linny experienced and what he saw. But Linny entered the tunnel. Linny entered the tunnel as the countdown began. Identify loopholes. I'm guessing it'd be this one. Refute. Hmm. Seems this won't produce a particularly effective rebuttal. You're right. I didn't mean that at all. What I meant to say was this one. Hmm. 
<laughs> Dude, I was, I was just kidding. I was just kidding. I am, I know, I get it. I was just testing you. The real answer is. Hmm. Seems this what the won't do you mean? Is it this one? Hmm. Seems this won't produce a. What do you mean? You can click on di Oh my god. I am so stupid. Dude, I was like, what do you mean none of these work? Okay, got it. Okay, I think I understand it now. This one. Hmm. Seems this won't produce a particular. I'm going to scream into your ear. Yeah, that I one. Did not take part in. <laughs> got it. Attention! Ace Detective Paimon has something to say. Yes. Wait, they said Ace Detective. When the countdown started, Linny did indeed go into the tunnel. Yes, he did. But he immediately used a vent to access the Opera House basement, hmm. which is Ace where Detective. The Dude, I'm such a good detective. Destroyed. Chat, I did that like within two seconds. And like, honestly, I had all my thoughts put together and everything made complete sense to me. And what's even crazy is I did that first try. Once he reached that area, he heard a voice in what should have been an empty room. It is so Since fast. he felt something was amiss, he returned immediately. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, 007, think of the prime sub. I appreciate you. Yeah. Finally, he reached the surface, and that was when the accident happened from his point of view. Therefore, he's innocent. Look at that. We just evened the odds. Successful. Oh, Paimon did it. We did it, baby. Paimon Hell yeah. Dora casually it. acting like he understands. Uh, excuse me, acting? I'm not acting. In other words. You believe that he knew nothing of the incident? Correct. That's right. Moreover, I believe my opposition's reasoning is flawed. <laughs> my reasoning? Yes, your reasoning. The onstage equipment was clearly tampered with in a premeditated fashion. However, you say that Cowell bumped into Lenny by chance. Hmm. If that's the case, then if Cowell hadn't entered the tunnel, who was the entire Say is true. Lenny is so cute here. Kidnap the young girl to cause a new disappearance case. What would the point of killing someone on stage be? Exactly. Oh, they have a point. Yeah, they have a point, actually. <laughs> that's right, you tell them. Buddy, welcome in our white today. Day going. Oh, well, your denial is very strident. I'll give you that. But what proof do you have to back your claim? Mm, how you refuted Linny's alibi initially? <laughs> of course I do. Do you remember that? If he had been in the magic box the whole time, how could he have not heard that sound? Why do you ask? <laughs> You're saying that he wasn't? Your claim has now become my weapon. Your claim has also become a critical clue. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Which is the evidence that Linny wasn't in the tunnel when the crime took place? Are you sure we don't need to give this more thought? Paimon thinks there's something off here. You're right. There is something off here. That's right. Yes, Linny that was my first thought. In the box or in the tunnel. Ow. That's why he didn't hear anything strange during the performance. Exactly. My first choice. This means that when the crime yeah. happened, First try. The same clue you used to disprove his alibi has now become the best proof. <laughs> How do you like that? <laughs> well played. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. <sighs> to think you'd use such logic. Well then, if it wasn't Linny who committed the crimes, then who was it? You. The murderer was. Select the gear icons and interface to check the corresponding case questions. Bro, how do they expect me, someone who dropped out of college and is a streamer, to do this? The guard's investigation report indicates that the fireworks released near the end of the show ignited and burned through the rope, suspending the water tank above the stage. This caused the water tank to fall and kill Cowell in the box below. 
If Linny is no longer under suspicion, only the other members of the troop would have been able to tamper with the props. Linny gave a detailed account of how the trick was supposed to work by using a box inside a box. The idea was for the box containing the audience member to be uh, transported across via a tunnel underneath, and Linny himself would also use this tunnel to get inside the other side. Having changed her outfit, Lynette and her assistant would take charge of onstage interactions. The clothes belonging to Halsey, the lady who went missing, were found in the tunnel. The reasons for this remain unknown. The deceased's name is Cowell, yeah. Linny's assistant. He would have been able to tamper with the equipment. Why would Cowell kill himself, though? That doesn't make any sense. Halsey is the missing person and an ordinary audience member. Or did she have her own scheme all along? Could there have been a third person involved? Is that really a possibility? First try. Watch this. Are you how how does this how does this logic make sense? The deceased's name is Cal. Yes, he tampered with it and killed himself. That makes complete sense. Unless he was trying to kill someone else, maybe. Uh, that can't be right. Are you serious? Dude, I don't even know at this point. Interesting. Let's hear your reasoning. Then. Please, I don't know. I don't know. I thought it was the other options. What I must do next is recreate the truth. What Cowell did, and how he went from would be perpetrator to victim. Oh, f my God. Okay. I don't under. I'm too stupid for this. How can we? I don't even know what that word means. Envisage? A massage from enviosity? What does it even mean? Envisage. I'm going to eat my fucking microphone. I'm going to eat it. I'm just going to eat it. I'm literally the worst lawyer in this game. This is so bad, dude. I'm just too stupid for this. The criminal must have understood the methods behind Lenny's magic trick and must have been in a position to easily modify the equipment. Leaving aside how he died, Cowell all that means to commit the crime at his disposal. The strange noise could likely have been the sound of Cowell and Halsey struggling. Lenny was not in the tunnel for the minute. That's what I picked those. I literally picked those. Yes. But when I pick them, they're wrong. What's wrong, Traveler? Are you still having trouble figuring things out? Yeah, I don't know where she went. <laughs> I see how it is. So this was all just a bluff. And here I thought you had something to show for it. You got it but right? It, seems you it are told still me I was wrong. From the truth. Look, since we're at a dead end, why not just like the trick as it transpired, the end result must have been utterly different from the magician's initial design. If only we knew how Halsey disappeared. Well, that would be nice, but the tunnel only has three exits. And right. It doesn't seem very likely. But it's not like this is a magic trick where you can just make a real live person disappear. Magic. Wait, could it have been the water? <laughs> Excuse my interruption, dear opponents. But do you not see... There was the no right answer for the ending. Uh, don't worry. No Wait, that was supposed to happen? I was supposed to get it wrong? Then an then, oh my god. I'm over here sitting like I feel like I'm so stupid. Because I was supposed to get that wrong? Oh my god, dude. I was getting tilted. I was legit getting tilted at the game. I was like, how the fuck is this wrong? The next stage of the trial. Objection. Hold on a second. Where did the missing Halsey go? The vase was not broken by chance. It I am a god. Got it right. First try. First try, dude. Lynette escaped from the water tank, vanishing gradually and leaving only clothes behind. Yes. If there's a similar method where a person could be transformed into water... <laughs> oh, just a moment, please. I do hope you know how preposterous you sound at the moment. Your laugh sounds preposterous. It's annoying. How could a person ever be transformed into water? This is reality I hate her. we're talking about here. Not so Giga magic brain, dude. Trick. Giga Doro. Giga Doro 44. Giga 44. Super smart. I request that we examine Cowell's personal effects. We might find something there. Must we really? 
Yes, we do. I this is a trial. Anyone, your friend Linny already knows this truth very well. Magic tricks are ultimately just illusions and misdirection. But Halsey's disappearance is very real. Yes. We're talking about two completely different things. Hello? Even so, I trust the traveler's judgment. Why won't she let us examine it, huh? What is she trying to hide? The truth must be out there somewhere. Perhaps a new line of reasoning may open if we try to gather all the focal points that don't make sense. Since Cal was the deceased, we haven't placed much attention on him. Mm -hmm. But given that we aren't making much progress with the case, it wouldn't hurt to have a look at his belongings, would it? I mean, yeah, he's dead. People really do come up with all sorts of harebrained schemes. What are you afraid of, Farina? Of the way I see it, your suggestion that we broaden the scope of our investigation is nothing but a tactic for stalling the trial. No, it's not. Hello? No, it's not. Nevertheless, I believe that this is a reasonable request on the part of an attorney. Since the trial does indeed appear to be at an impasse, bro, the way he sits like that, help us make more progress. He's so dapper. He's like, yes, I cross my legs. And what about it? Guards, please step into the lounge and examine the personal effects of the deceased Callow. Hmm. He's so handsome. I love him. I wanted to punch her. I want to punch we her right now. We are still examining the items, but we have already made critical progress that we feel must be shared with everyone post haste. We discovered several test tubes of fluid within Cowell's baggage. Fluid? Each labeled separately. The notebook in his backpack claims that these fluids are... water from the primordial sea. The Primordial Sea. The Primordial Sea. The note's contents also indicate that Cowell belonged to an organization that sells illegal don't, drugs. Don't say come. had an accomplice. It's Hitler Churl Milk, chat. The notebook has many entries concerning safe usage of these fluids. fluids. In which the keyword dissolve appears many times. One of these tubes was labeled... Seawater is better than the fluids I was thinking Along of. with yesterday's date. It is empty. The notes also state that these dissolution properties work exclusively on people from Fontaine. It's likely that Halsey was chosen as some sort of test subject. As such, we believe that the defense's hypothesis is, in fact, supported by sufficient evidence. You've got to be kidding. People dissolving into water? Crazy, I know. Now sit down. Could something so ridiculous actually be true? Wait a moment. This reminds me of a certain prophecy, but... It's just a coincidence, isn't it? Huh. If people can Yo, Sabumi, water, welcome in. How are does you? Does that mean that the water tank's real use was as a means to hide water stains? And if Cowell was targeting that girl... Wait just a minute. Could that mean... You two, with me, quick! Demoiselle, wait! What about your partners? Mm, let's go. Just trust me. Order! Order! Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, just him going... Oh my god, what? Oh my god. I felt something when he did that. I don't know why, dude. It is undeniable that I further examination of the deceased's personal effects has yielded some surprising results, but we cannot yet verify the veracity of these clues. Yes, sir, sir. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. Still, let us assume that these clues are indeed authentic, albeit with the understanding that Ms. Halsey has yet to be found. Guards, Please continue Crazy. examining Welcome the items along these lines. Mr. Linney, it appears your hypothesis is supported by the evidence, so please continue speaking. Of course. Thank you, Your Honor. If we uphold this hypothesis, I believe that many of this case's seemingly unrelated clues can be connected together. I feel like Nouvellet seems to look like and act like an, a bad guy, but he's not really a bad guy. At least he listens. While well, freaking Farina is just so annoying. Hey, and the actual villain. Yeah. Mm. Let's think about this. Cowell's methods must have something to Nervous. do with that water from the primordial sea. Water from the primordial sea. This liquid. Yeah, yeah I'm not going to do that. I am so smart. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I'm getting better now. Ahem. It's <laughs> a time Actual time first tie? Oh my god, dude. I'm like so insane. I am so people. smart, five head dude. You see how big this forehead is? His when the magic box 
containing Halsey with blowers, the metal hook would retract gradually and pierce the balloon at the top of the box. Uh -huh. When the balloon attached to the box popped, the water from the primordial seed inside it would pour down and dissolve Halsey. Afterward, Cowl would enter the tunnel and break the flower vase to conceal the water inside the tunnel, with the remaining evidence being covered up by the water tank on stage. But he encountered something unexpected in the tunnel and wound up being fatally hit by the same water tank he meant to use to cover his tracks. Did it to himself. Huh. That does make sense. <laughs> I like how that goes. Oh, yeah, that does make sense. That actually oh. links together a lot of the more confusing pieces of evidence. I know. I know. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh yeah. Oh dear. What do I do? Even I think they sound convincing now. Yeah. Have I falsely accused an innocent person? You have. You got lost what in the a sauce. Humiliation. No. It seems like the only point of contention remaining is the exact circumstances that led to Cal's death. His notes mentioned he had an accomplice who could be related to the situation. On that note, the guards have just contacted me indicating that they uncovered new evidence. I shall now invite him on stage to share it with us. Thank you, Your Honor. We were just inspecting the okay. luggage of the other people involved in this case, and we found an identical sample of the water from the Primordial Sea among Linny's personal effects. It was planted. It was planted. What? That can't be. <laughs> it was. Pl Shut up, Therima. I see. Well, planted, how wonderfully dude. comedic to have your own counterattack only to come back and wound you. Does this not clear all doubt? I hate her. Objection. Objection. My dear citizen. It was planted. My loyal audience, allow me to present my reasoning and bring this performance to a She just makes this class. shit up. I promise that. Dude. She just makes it up. God damn it. Not one of these again. God, I'm so bad at these. Linny did not need to take part in the dissolution all right, of the first young woman at all. Indeed, he did leave the scene via the vent. Having made modifications to the props beforehand, his accomplice Cowl then caused Halsey to vanish using the water from the primordial sea. Mm -hmm. But upon his return in cruel avarice, Linny desired sole credit and prepared to do away with his partner in crime. Where do you get that assumption from? Ultimately, he knocked Cowl out, and the tool meant to cover the crime up also became a murder weapon. The vase. Now, as much as I regret having come to such a viciously straightforward conclusion, it does seem that the famed Fatui is quite the cold-blooded and ruthless organization. Am I right, Mr. Linney? Wrong. We've used up all the evidence we collected. There's no way for us to make a rebuttal here. There is. Watch is this. Is this the end of the road? It's not. I got this. Watch this. Okay. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I was so ready to do. I was so ready. Oh my god. Rest in peace, Bozo. New evidence was too good a move. God damn it. This have to happen now. I think we've all seen enough now. And we have ample witnesses to my flawless Shut up. reasoning. I hate you. I believe this is indeed the finale. Now then, my good, noble chief justice. Man. Should we not, in your view, move? Huh? Excuse me, everyone, but I must interject. Um, I must interject. Hold on, let me finish this macaron real quick. Miss, I must ask you not to shout. And to respect the ongoing legal proceedings. Oh, come on. Don't be hasty. I have a good reason for interrupting, you know. Now, would anyone here like to take a little break from all this debate and see a little magic? Maybe nibble on a macaron? I'll show you an amazing I made some trick, fresh batches. One that can bring a young woman who has disappeared back in the flesh right before your very eyes. Please, do the honors, Mr. Linny. 
if you would be so kind. But what in the world is she saying? No offense, miss, but miracles like that are beyond my scope as a magician. Come on now, don't be silly. Magic is all about misdirection, isn't it? Yeah. It often conceals the truth while presenting a fascinating illusion. But once everyone believes the illusion, can't magic reveal the truth to them once again? And wouldn't such a trick be the most marvelous finale to today's performance? Come on, Lenny and Lynette. Give it another go. Don't worry. Spina di Rasula has made the necessary arrangements on your behalf. How'd they get the box there? But, as the magic makers and stars of the show, I think I should leave the final performance to you. I understand. I am not following. But you do your thing. And voila! Um... <laughs> Uh, sorry for the interruption. Bro, Nouvellette was not happy. He was just like, really? Wait, isn't that Halsey? It is, and she's about to so sing for us. the whole thing about people dissolving wasn't true after all? It was a misdirection. To be clear, I'm only here because this person told me that if I testified, the merit of doing so would lessen my sentence. I was hiding outside this room listening to the proceedings because I was afraid that I would be the one put on trial. I was just feeling happy that no one had noticed me. And then before I knew it, she So you would have let an innocent man go to jail because you were too... selfish? Jail. Straight to jail. Straight to jail you go. You go to right, right, right to jail. Right to jail. <laughs> That'll teach you to underestimate us three. Plot twist. Where should I begin? <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm the one who killed Cowell. I admit it. Halsey. But, what? Why? She's the one who did it. Firstly, my name isn't Halsey. It's Lillian. And I'm originally from Mondstadt. Why'd you kill him, Lillian? I heard that Linny's show was gonna be a real thriller, but I missed the chance to buy a ticket, so I stole one. Okay. That's how I make a living. I steal stuff here and there. And I'd never been caught before. You sound so proud. But I was noticed at the harbor a few days ago, and yeah. I barely got away. Linny was the one who caught me in the act. Mm -hmm. Hey! No wonder you look familiar! I was thinking that, and I was like, nah, maybe the character model is just similar. Liddy even mentioned that you were pretty skilled. Well, and I thought that would have been the end of it, but then the number selector chose me. He even mentioned the Fortress of Meripede. That's a prison, isn't it? So you can imagine how shocked I was. I thought he was on to me for sure. Mm. So I played along with the show while looking for an opening to flee. But then I got water poured on me for no reason, and then someone jumped into the tunnel to nab me. I wasn't going to take that lying down, so I knocked him out and stuffed him into the box. <sighs> there was nowhere to run from there, though, so I had to change my clothes and hide in a box containing performance costumes. Okay. I slipped out after the first guard arrived at the scene and continued hiding inside the opera house. Can a person even hide in there? Uh, if they're practice hand at a concealment, probably. But I swear, I didn't know that the water tank would fall down. Really, I swear it. Had I known that, I wouldn't have put him in the magic box. I may be a I think we should sentence her to killer. death. Well, that makes sense. Just randomly confessing to a murder with such a calm tongue. I know, right? Isn't that kind of weird and unhinged? Yeah, now it's time to refute the Hydra Archon's previous reasoning. This time, we need to tell the entire story from Lillian's perspective. Okay. I'm just gonna start clicking. I don't give a Lillian was afraid that she would be recognized if she left. Yes. So she changed clothes and hid. Yes. Biding her time. Yes. Yes. The flower vase was not she used the water the vase to knock him out. But it was smashed during the struggle between Lillian and Cowell. Yes. Hmm. You're right. Yup. The strange sound wasn't from a fight. It was Lillian's attempt to Got it. First try, dude. First try. I totally got that first try. Dude, I'm so smart. Easy. Her panic only intensified after she entered the tunnel and had water poured on her head. Mm -hmm. So she kicked the door open, producing the thud we all heard. Hearing the commotion. 
ocean, Cowl leapt into the tunnel, only to discover... 100% first try, exactly, dude. Dissolved. He did not know that Lillianne was not from Fontaine, but was a thief who made her way in by stealing a ticket. Mistakenly believing that the water from the primordial sea needed time to take effect, he tried to force Lillianne back into the box. The two broke the flower vase during the struggle. Yes. But Lillianne came out on top with no way of She already escaping. explained all this. Why do we have to explain it again? And hid in the costume trunk until the performance ended. Bam. Take that, Farina. Hell yeah. First try. She knew that she would have to go through guard inspection if she tried to leave afterward. So, she has been trapped in the opera house these last two days. <laughs> two days? She had already become desperately hungry by the time we were chatting over macarons. So, she swiped two of them right under our noses. Talk about a sneaky Oh, you freak. caught her. At this Nice. All the events that happened in the tunnel have now come to light. Ah, so that's the whole story. It is. Mm -hmm. Bravo. Bravo. You're welcome. What a performance. Now then, Lady Farina, do you wish to speak against the defenses? Yeah, statements? you have anything else to say, Hydro Archon? Today, Junior. Please answer the question, Lady Farina. Also, if I may add, the trial has not yet ended. As such, I request that the prosecution not leave the room before the Was she just trying to conclude. leave, dude? What? Are you reading my mind now? No. I have no further <laughs> arguments. Got him. I admit defeat. But really, could you at least have left me with some dignity? No. Because you're a B.I. CHT. Wow. Look at that. She's like a deflated balloon now. Yeah, take that. If there dude. are no objections, then as the Chief Justice of Fontaine, I shall once again repeat the full sequence of events. Do you have to? The actual perpetrator of the serial disappearances, Cowell, selected his next victim from the audience reservation list. With some modifications to the selector, he could ensure that the pre-selected young woman would be chosen. Correct. To cover up any evidence while committing the deed, Cowell thought of allowing the water tank to fall, which would conceal the water left behind after the young woman was dissolved. Mm -hmm. He also tampered with the rope suspending the water tank, using the fireworks at the end of the performance to cause the tank <laughs> she to She definitely went home and, and screamed into her box. pillow after that, for real. He poured she the did. water from the primordial sea into a balloon during the preparation of the magic box, and stuck it to the box. She was like, I hate him, I hate him. Finally, he passed the prepared hook on a rope through the gap in the magic box's door when bringing the young woman to said box. When the magic trick officially began, the box containing the woman was lowered into the tunnel, tightening the hook rope and bursting the balloon containing the water. If all had gone to plan, the young woman would be dissolved at this time. Mm -hmm. However, Lillianne was not from Fontaine and thus fled the box with a loud noise. Realizing that there was trouble, Cowell entered the tunnel and met Lillianne. Thinking that the waters had not yet taken effect, he decided to proceed. However, his opponent was more capable than he thought, and he was overcome, I'm from Mondstadt, bitch. and placed into the magic box, and thus became his own final victim. Dude, what a dum-dum. Lillianne, according to her own statements, then changed clothes and hid until the performance ended, before hiding in other parts of the opera house. This After is cool. Lenny, he was in the underground structures within the opera house and was thus ignorant of these happenings. From this reconstruction of events, we can conclude that Linny, the accused, is in fact innocent. Hell yeah. Hooray, Lillian Lynette! Amazing! While there is much in Linny and Lillian's conduct, Hell yeah, that baby! Still be investigated Look at us go! Separately. This case, at least, can be handed over to the Oratrice to make the final decision. All right, Oratrice. Tell us how we did. As such, Linny and Lynette are officially declared not guilty. Nice. 
<laughs> yeah, it was like a Honkai Star Rail uh, pulling animation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great work, partners. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Let's not celebrate just yet. Next, I think we deserve an explanation, God Vaughn. How did you find the water from the Primordial Sea in Linny's baggage? Uh, right! Your discovery caused me to make a serious mistake, you know! Yeah, or he planted it. not a discovery? He definitely planted it. false evidence that you dare to bring before this court! I suspect that the accomplice mentioned in Cowell's notes was not Linny, but you, yes? Mm. I... Uh, Caught red-handed. I'm sure you know what you must do to lessen your sentence. Speak quickly! Unless you want to earn yourself a one-way ticket to Coupon Town. What do you mean by Coupon Town? I'm gonna take you to Coupon Town. You'll be clipping coupons for days, months, years. That's your sentence. I... I was just following what orders. What do you mean? We were supposed to place blame for the serial disappearances onto Linny, and thus cause suspicion to fall on the Fatui. The higher-up said this was the best opportunity to do so. And now that your plan has fallen through, and the secrets of the water have been revealed, you have become a liability to said higher-ups, yes? Therefore, you would be wise to tell everything you know, and seek the protection of the guards. Yes, I'll tell you everything I know. He's gonna die. Our boss discovered that the water can cause people to dissolve. It can also be made into a potion. Which, when extremely diluted, gotta get a coupon town. to experience unforgettable exhilaration. We've been in this business for a while now and have made decent mora off it. The disappearances were also the boss's idea. Okay. I mean, this is the boss we're talking about. The. Oh, oh shit! Huh. This man just dissolved in front of us. God, holy and now shit. he can no longer talk. Thank you, Linny, for that. Yeah, no shit, he can't talk anymore. Such ruthlessness. I shouldn't have expected any less of them. An outrageous act. All present, please submit to inspection immediately. Oh god, they got the big robots out. However, nothing is found on the scene apart from the liquid left behind Vaughn dissolved. His milk. Dude, let's get the f out of this place. Problem seems to have been solved for now. That's true, but Traveler, Paimon, please wait. No, nah, I hate Fontaine. I'm getting out of here, dude. Lenny. I know you may not want to speak to me right now. Maybe you don't even want to look at me, but still, let me thank you again for defending me to the end, even after you learned that I'm a member of the Fatui. I just didn't want to see anyone be falsely accused. I guess. But regardless, I'd like the opportunity to set things straight. I didn't approach you with any ulterior motives or ill intent. I've spoken to you as myself, just plain Linny this entire time. As for why I'm a Fatus, it's because the goals of the House of the Hearth align with those of an orphan like me. That's all. Interesting. That was how Father, who you might know as the Knave, approached recruiting us back then too. One who controls the house of the hearth? She's your father? She's your father? That's right. And since we're here, I was wondering, would you mind hearing a story? It's about my past. Wait. Arlecchino? Oh my god. Father as in like godfather, the boss? Back when our parents first died, Lynette and I were left wandering the streets. Uh -huh. To survive, I took to surreptitiously observing an older street performer. Arlecchino Daddy confirmed? It took me several days to figure out how he pulled off his amazing tricks. I took my sister through several streets until we found a crowded corner, and we began to perform magic tricks there. To my surprise, we proved to be pretty popular, and we could at least stop worrying about where our next meal would come from for a time. Mm -hmm. But... I didn't want my sister to remain a street rat together with me forever. Riff raff, street rat. Sorry. Before long, an aristocrat came to me and claimed that he wished to take us in after watching my performances. So you went from orphans to nobility just like that? That was how we felt at first, too. As if fate was on our side and we could say goodbye to those painful days. Mm -hmm. But I gradually discovered that while we were called foster children, 
He was really after my talent for magic tricks. He would constantly take me to all sorts of banquets to garner attention, which he would then use to expand his social circles. That doesn't seem too bad either. Better than roaming the streets at any rate. <laughs> it took a while for me to realize just how dark his heart really was. After one particular performance at a banquet, I discovered that Lynette was not on the Bro, same this is juicy. Me. Daddy Arlecchino. I waited a long time after we returned home, but she did not come back. I went to that noble's bedroom and asked him about her whereabouts. The answer he gave me was... She caught the eye of the most eminent person at the banquet, so I sent her over as a gift. I mean, you'll be able to perform your magic regardless of who your assistant is, yes? Oh my god. Oh no. So he was gonna... <sighs> but wouldn't Fontaine's laws deal with such people? As far as outsiders this are This is dark, dude. This is a relationship akin to adoption or foster care. And they have their ways of escaping the eye of the law. So what happened after? I managed to ferret out the location of the mansion of that so-called eminent person mm -hmm. and hurried through the night. But by the time I leaped over the walls, avoided the guards and made my way in, all I saw was the moonlit ground covered in blood and the knave standing there in the darkness. What the fuck? So she'd already taken care of that guy. That's right. She had rescued my sister before she could come to any harm, and had even discovered several girls hidden in a basement, all of them orphans. Father, I mean, the knave, might have seen something in me, and so she made me an offer. The House of the Hearth welcomes you, for your interests align with ours. Here, none will ever betray you. Indeed, betrayal shall never so be permitted So, Arlequino's here. not even really a bad guy? doing good by saving a little girl that's a good thing right you know saving little orphans and stuff an anti-hero maybe yes i was hesitant to trust her i mean i had just been betrayed by nobles but she was also quick to destroy the noble who had taken us in at first giving us back our freedom so she's like an anti-hero oh, maybe so that's how the two of you joined the house of the horse that knave is after the Gnosis, isn't she? She has her own plans. She has gained permission from the Sarita to first use the Gnosis's power once she obtains it. What does she want to use she it for? She plans to use it to find a way to break the prophecy and save Fontaine. That's not a bad thing! Unless she's lying. What if Arlequino's not really a bad person? So, she believes in that prophecy too? But she could be lying. I don't know. Dude, this is getting dark. That's right. The whole house of We the just Hearts talked about trafficking. Combat that crisis. And she saved Lynette from like trafficking, dude. That's crazy. Today's case has also proven that people from Fontaine can indeed dissolve into some sort of water, thus further supporting the prophecy. All of us house members here, Lady Arlecchino herself included, are from Fontaine. We won't give up on defending our homeland. To us orphans, the only connection we have left to this world, apart from our family, is our homeland. So, from small deeds like distributing magic pockets, to huge schemes like stealing a Gnosis, everything is aimed at dealing with that prophecy. I'm sorry. It's all right. I understand. The only thing I can do is relate all this to you. I just hope you can understand that even as a member of the house, I have never stopped making my own decisions, and that I believe what I'm doing is right. If you should need anything Dude, at this all is in the crazy. Future, feel free to find me. I will do my best to help you, as plain Linny. I understand. Bro, that lore drop was insane. Hi, Leave the opera house. Okay. Wait, where the f where'd I go? I left the opera house. Off we go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me, Chad. Okay. I was supposed to go right here. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. Hey there. What was with?
with the disappearing act he pulled right as the trial ended? I don't know, I'm sleepy. Were you looking for us, Navia? Well, this whole thing isn't exactly over, is it? I do feel that we're getting closer to solving the serial disappearances case, though. Don't you think so, too? Well, I... Huh? What's wrong, my dear partner? I was really only trying to defend Lenny. Besides, are you sure we're the ones who can crack a case that's been cold for decades now? And given that there's new evidence from the trial, there should be a trail of breadcrumbs for the Hydro Archon's people to follow now, right? Ah, I see. Well, I won't lie. I'm a little shocked to hear that from you. But I'm I sorry. suppose you are just travelers. We're just travelers. We don't want to get too deep into all. it, dude, okay? I've I'm seen sorry. you on YouTube Shorts, but first time I, I come here to see your stream, I appreciate you, Shadow Broker. Don't say that, Navia. Oh, and we were having so much fun investigating with you, too. It was like having new waters flowing into a stagnant mire, causing new hope to spring forth and the reflection in the murk to become clearer. <laughs> I love the Mass Effect that. series too much. I am a bit prone to I played all of Mass Effect me. 1, the first wait, one. Wait, should we have a farewell meal? You know, to commemorate our time as partners? Huh? Do we really need to get that formal? Well, I just like to have a proper ending to every important memory. Proper that ending? Way, what no do you mean by that? Later. Anyway, it would just be a meal, so it shouldn't well, take up too much of your time. If you say so. You don't have to twist my arm's arm. If Buzz She's already hungry eating, again. Can't play mine in. Oh, wonderful. In that case, why don't we return to the Court of Fontaine and head to the Hotel de Boer? Hotel? I we'll make it just in time for dinner. And that's act one. We did it. That's act one. That was so freaking good. Like this Archon quest is already off to an insanely cool start. I, I really enjoyed it. Oh my God. What do you guys think of the Archon quest so far?